Tonight, in the city where they say what happens stays, they will go all in. It's the one night a year where 30 superstars converge in one ring, each going double or nothing, with only one golden opportunity at stake. 15 warriors from Monday Night Raw, 15 fighters from Friday Night SmackDown. This is the 30-man Royal Rumble match. The winner earns the chance to headline the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Opportunity knocks, and tonight, Bobby Lashley returns to the spotlight. His WWE title shot that was stripped away months ago, sidelined by the destructive hands of Solo Sokoa. Now, in this city of life, Lashley seeks redemption in a fight that has led both him and Solo Sokoa to a championship shot. Seth Rollins, the ever-resilient champion, faces yet another formidable challenge. Two hungry heavyweights, driven by a relentless pursuit, are determined to bring home the gold. In the landscape of Friday Night SmackDown, Gunther seeks new competition to solidify his reign at the top as World Heavyweight Champion. The high-flying maestro, Ricochet, waits in the wings, armed with extraordinary attributes to try and topple the dominating Ring General. And then there's the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, hungry with championship aspirations. His path intersects with the legendary Edge, who, after trying to find his footing again, looks to prove he still has what it takes to battle with the best. A meeting that will tell a tale of who might be next in line for glory. For the first time in a decade, the best in the world, CM Punk, returns to top off what already promises to be an historic evening in Sin City. There are nights that define a generation, and tonight, in 2024, the Royal Rumble will shake the WWE to its very core. In the city of high stakes and high reward, who will cash in and win big? The chance is now, the competition fierce, and the moments unforgettable. It only happens once a year. This is the Royal Rumble, and the road to WrestleMania begins now. You are looking live at Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, and in the middle of the glamour and lights, the road to WrestleMania begins. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown. The 30-man Royal Rumble match takes place live right here tonight at the Royal Rumble. It is your first live premiere event of 2024. Six championships to be defended. The Royal Rumble match and of course the return of CM Punk. And we kick things off tonight in the middle of T-Mobile Arena. With that return itself, the A-list superstar, the former WWE Champion. Whether you like it or not, future Hall of Famer in The Miz just hot off the heels of breaking his losing streak a few weeks ago, looks to spoil the return of the self-proclaimed best in the world. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. The Miz called out CM Punk for this matchup tonight. Looking to spoil the return, excuse us, of the best in the world. Miz has not forgotten about comments CM Punk made over a decade ago, saying Miz unworthy of main eventing WrestleMania, undeserving of being the WWE Champion. That is stuck with the Miz. He has held that grudge for over 10 years. And tonight, upon CM Punk's glorious return to the WWE, the Miz looks to spoil it and get his ultimate revenge on the road to WrestleMania. The Miz breaking that 12-match losing streak a few weeks ago. Can he get his momentum on the right path here tonight in T-Mobile Arena?
He is a former ECW champion. He is a former Intercontinental champion. Former World Tag Team champion. Two-time Money in the Bank holder. World Heavyweight Champion and held the WWE title for 434 days. The self-proclaimed best in the world is live and in living color at T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, the M Punk. The ever controversial the ever talked about, the ever star of the show, CM Punk's much anticipated return culminates 10 years after he walked out of WWE. CM Punk has stated he is back to face those old ghosts head on, and tonight he faces The Miz in his return to T-Mobile Arena. CM Punk is coming back and ready to air a lot of dirty laundry on Monday Night Raw. But tonight starts the beginning. CM Punk is looking towards WrestleMania. But at first, he's got to get through the A-list superstar, The Miz, before CM Punk can begin his rise back to the top to the promised land. I'll tell you what, there is just a aura surrounding this building tonight. The 2024 Royal Rumble, one of the biggest events of the year. T-Mobile Arena has been sold out for weeks in the middle of Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. The road to WrestleMania begins right here tonight. And what bigger way to kick things off than with The Miz challenging the returning CM Punk. The bell has sounded and we are underway officially here in Las Vegas. We want to thank you for joining us for what is going to be an epic night of action to kick off the road to WrestleMania. For the first time in 10 years, CM Punk competes inside a WWE ring. The Miz looking to play spoiler and get himself back to the promised land of possibly main eventing WrestleMania. All remains to be seen who is going to start off their road to the grandest stage on the right foot. Will it be The Miz, who somehow, someway was able to outlast a I'll bite wounded Celtic warrior Sheamus on Christmas night a couple of weeks ago, or will it be CM Punk? who has got this Las Vegas crowd behind him. CM Punk has stated in a WWE.com interview that he is feeling truly the best he has ever been. And he's back to face new challenges, back to win championships all over again. He is back to write a completely new chapter of his career, and it starts here tonight. And the Miz wanted CM Punk. Punk's return confirmed four weeks ago at Armageddon. The Miz wasted little to no time calling out the best in the world. It's almost as if The Miz has been waiting for this day over the last 10 years. And Punk looks better than ever inside the squared circle. But the A-list superstar not looking to be a stepping stone in the returning Punk's career. Off the neck breaker, Miz going for the cover early. Can he keep down Punk? Not just yet. It should be very interesting to see how these two superstars adapt to each other. This is not the first time they've been in the ring with each other, but obviously upwards of a decade. And now they are reigniting their old past tonight. They have fought over the WWE Championship, World Tag Team Championship, even with their respective partners. And tonight a whole different ball game. Miz has been here, he has done that. Veteran of the squared circle at this point. Whether you like it or not, as we mentioned, as you walk down the aisle, a future Hall of Famer here in the WWE. And he is facing another Hall of Fame first ballot caliber superstar in CM Punk. And Punk is not looking to fall to the Miz and have an unsuccessful return on the wrong foot here in Las Vegas. Look at Punk, full head of steam. Gotta wonder what the mindset of these men's coming into this matchup is tonight. A nice move by Punk, combination maneuver. Hold that thought into the cover that time. The Miz getting the shoulder up. As we mentioned, you gotta wonder what the mindsets are coming into this matchup. The Miz hot off the heels of breaking that losing streak. Now looking to close the book on this personal grudge he has had for over 10 years with CM Punk. And obviously the A-list superstar who's been itching just to get back on the right track on Monday Night Raw. 
He's got to see this matchup as a opportunity to put himself in line for some big time main events, maybe championship opportunities on the red brand. CM Punk obviously looking for the same result. Tope Suicida, vintage, best in the world. The voice of the voiceless, making his voice heard through his actions tonight, inside and outside of that squared circle in the first few moments of this matchup. What a hot way to kick things off here in Las Vegas at the Royal Rumble. So much action to come tonight. Six championships to be defended, and of course, the Royal Rumble matchup itself. And The Miz dishing a signature maneuver of himself right back at CM Punk. Obviously, Punk feeling fresh coming into this thing. Gotta wonder if there's any ring rust on CM Punk. He's been active over the last 10 years, but the WWE landscape, a completely different landscape. How will that affect Punk upon his return tonight? So far, it's been a pretty even matchup. It's The Miz giving Punk a taste of the boot. A little soul food in the middle of Sin City. And Punk struggling to kick out that time. Close near fall for the A-list superstar. Punk might have got his bell wrong. The Miz obviously bringing his A game tonight. As we mentioned, Miz breaking that losing streak against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. And I'll bite, Sheamus went into that matchup with obviously some injured ribs and it took three different skull crushing finales just to keep Sheamus down on that night. Nonetheless, the Miz walked away the victor on Christmas night a few weeks ago on Raw. Looking to ride that momentum into the Royal Rumble tonight. CM Punk finding himself worse for wear. The former 434 day WWE champion lost that championship to the People's Champ The Rock 11 years ago, right here at the Royal Rumble. Classic matchup in CM Punk's career. Punk looking to write a whole new chapter of his story here tonight. Oh, look at this, CM Punk charging up. Oh my goodness, you wanna talk about knockout shots? Look no further. He said Punk might have had his bell wrong off that boot to the face by The Miz. Well, Punk giving him his receipt. That was a mean knee to the jaw. CM Punk, I'm sure, stands by his comments from years ago. Hold that thought. The knee followed up with the Poison Rana. Stacking the offense. And The Miz is still into this thing, but CM Punk is fired up. Man, what a match we got on our hands tonight to kick things off here at the Royal Rumble. And Punk not afraid to bring this thing to the outside. Gotta wonder how Bell, how much, well, let me get that out right, how much the Bell is wrong of The Miz after that combination of maneuvers. CM Punk may be, but the coast's way to victory, or maybe not so fast as The Miz knocks him off the top rope. Into the pinfall he goes. Going for a quick cover there, but CM Punk still into this matchup. Gotta wonder how this matchup, as well as others tonight, such as Brock Lesnar and the Rated R Superstar Edge. Oh, wait a minute. Oh man, Miz with a psycho knee out of the corner. Man, we should just hold the extracurricular thoughts for later. These two guys are throwing live rounds. And now Punk gonna dish it right back. Anaconda Vice on the A-list superstar. A signature out of the arsenal of Punk. We are about to talk about how this match, such as matches like Lesnar and Edge, could affect the landscape of Monday Night Raw and the main event title picture. All remains to be seen what is gonna happen tonight. But first, one of these men gotta reach the finish line. Will it be The Miz? Will it be CM Punk? And The Miz able to get out of that Anaconda Vice. Back and forth, the momentum starts to swing. Look at outrun Punk this time, and he does. We have got a barn burner on our hands to kick things off. Miz with another overhand shot. CM Punk with a reversal. The pendulum of momentum starts to swing back and forth as he sends the Miz into the corner, and nobody home off the delivery. Miz just crashing and burning. Hopefully the Miz was an out late party in here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hopefully he was preparing for this fight with CM Punk. On the apron they go. 
I don't know what Punk, what the Miz had in mind, but there's the Miz getting sent right to the steel steps. As we mentioned a few minutes ago, CM Punk not afraid to get his hands dirty. Still to come tonight here at the Royal Rumble, the WWE Championship is going to be on the line. Seth freaking Rollins defends in the triple threat against the street champ Solo Sokoa and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Could CM Punk or The Miz be eyeing up the WWE Championship match later tonight? Who will walk out of this one? A possible victor. Another counter that time. These two men did their homework. You gotta believe The Miz, ever since he got his answer from CM Punk on Christmas night, accepted the challenge. And this matchup was officially confirmed. You gotta believe The Miz has been doing his homework on CM Punk, reminding himself of Punk's arsenal, and trying to find a way out of any and every CM Punk maneuver that he's got. Miz has been holding that grudge close to the vest for years. And now he's finally looking to let out that aggression. But speaking of knockout blows in this match, Punk with a mean Insiguri. Now a springboard. Falls it over the drop kick. And now Punk heading to the top rope. CM Punk certainly comfortable soaring through the skies. But that is not a comfortable landing. Nobody home. The Miz looking to take advantage. Backbreaker. Neckbreaker combination. And that might do it. The Miz reaching the finish line first, not just yet. CM Punk off the misstep, finding himself down and out here at the Royal Rumble. And the Miz trying to hang in there now. After what has been an exhilarating contest so far, exhausting between these two men to say the least. A lot of live rounds, proverbial being thrown in this contest thus far to kick things off here in Sin City. When you start to get in the later rounds of these fights, exhaustion starts to set in, especially when there's a personal grudge from the side of The Miz and CM Punk looking for a successful return. This is not a match where you just want to tuck your tail between your legs and live to fight another day. It is go big or go home between Punk and Miz reigniting damn near a decade-old rivalry. Back and forth, the haymaker swing. CM Punk trying to get The Miz off his neck that time. Couple of elbows. Who is going to get the final blow? Miz sent the corner. Punk with the knee. Bulldog combination. That's one for the history books. And now CM Punk looking to remind everybody just why they call him the best in the world. Dropping the elbow to the spine. Punk starting to stack that offense once more. Oh, but wait a minute. Another counter by The Miz. Man, the homework was done, and they are looking for the A-plus on the test. Another reversal. And now Miz could we go for the skull. Crushing finale there. Lex for another neck breaker, this time right on the kneecap. Now the eyes locked sharp on CM Punk as Miz looking to bring this matchup to a close. Punk with the elbow. Gets the counter that time. Open palm shot. Into the corner he goes. Punk with a vintage kick. CM Punk, decorated superstar throughout his career. Not many accolades that Punk hasn't accomplished. Punk looking for that feather in the cap victory here tonight upon his WWE return. What has he got in mind here? Springboard and CM Punk sailing through the skies. That time got the delivery he was hoping for. And now Punk with his eyes locked sharp on the Miz. Miz, fireman's carry position, go to sleep. Into the cover. Whoa, the Miz is still into it. The Miz kicked out of the GTS. The Miz wide awake, or at least close to it, here in Las Vegas. Well, this is one of the cities that they say never sleeps. The Miz not looking to fall, even to CM Punk's best shot. The Miz gonna give him one of his own. The hit kicks out of the endless superstar. We have got a barn burner on our hands. Into the cover he goes for the victory. Not just yet, Punk's alive. This is how you kick off the first live premiere event of 2024. And now Miz once more goes behind.
skull crushing finale. Nobody home on that one. Punk again. Hoisting the Miz in the air. Could be going for a second. GTS and it lands, lands flush. Punk hesitant to go for the cover. Fatigue starting to set in. The Miz is still in a way. You gotta be kidding me. I don't think CM Punk can believe it. How is the Miz still fighting? Oh, and now Punk not wasting any time. Going for the exclamation point. The Anaconda Vice locked in. The Miz struggling to hold on. The Miz taps out. CM Punk victorious upon his return. Holy hell, what a matchup. That is how you kick off the Royal Rumble. CM Punk has won so many championships over the years with the GTS and with the Anaconda device. One way or another, it led him to the promised land of victory here tonight in Sin City. Gotta give credit where it's due. The Miz hung in there for a hell of a fight, but tonight belongs to the returning best in the world. Here is your winner, CM Punk. Tonight is just the beginning. CM Punk is back. He's heading to Monday Night Raw. And the question remains, what is next for CM Punk? Starting things off on the right foot tonight at the Rumble. A victory over the Miz that he much wanted. But what does CM Punk have on the horizon? As Punk is back and Punk begins to write a whole new story. Week after week on Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is time for our first of five. Yes, five. I've been saying six all night long. Five championship matches here at the Royal Rumble. Nonetheless, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line here in Las Vegas. Representing the red brand, the number one contender, Liv Morgan, who last summer had a very short run with the women's championship herself and really has been trying to get back to this spot ever since. Liv Morgan went down with a undisclosed injury back in the fall, but burst on the scene once more last month on Raw. She has picked up victories over Tiffany Stratton and her alongside Natalia, picking up a huge tag team victory over Blair Davenport and the champion herself, Rhea Ripley, just a number of weeks ago. Liv looked in the eyes of the Eradicator this past Monday night on Raw. Sent a staring message that she was coming for the Women's Championship this Sunday. But can she get the job done here tonight when the lights are on bright and the gold's on the line? And that is an intimidating presence that is getting ready to make her way down the aisle. The Eradicator, the Nightmare, representing the Judgment Day, and most importantly, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. As voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. Ripley won Money in the Bank back in July, cashed it in successfully in September, and has steamrolled over the competition ever since. Picking up victories over Shayna Baszler upon that Money in the Bank cash-in, 
going on to defend her title against Becky Lynch, once in Principality Stadium, the other in Madison Square Garden in an Extreme Rules match. And just last month at Armageddon, Rhea turning away, one of the hottest newcomers to the red brand in Alba Fire. Now Liv Morgan looks to test her medal against the oh-so-dominating and intimidating champion. Rhea Ripley, word has it, going around the backstage area that she's looking to make an example out of the number one contender here tonight. That is easier said than done. Liv Morgan willing to fight that uphill battle. She was able to obtain that very championship last year. Can she repeat history in 2024? Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia, she is the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley! Well, we talked about that tag team victory recently on Raw between Liv Morgan and Natalya taking down Blair Davenport and the Nightmare herself. Well, Rhea, Rip Rhea Ripley corrected that wrong just six nights ago with an emphatic victory over the Queen of Hearts. And if Rhea Ripley didn't send a message on that night, I don't know what will. Liv Morgan knows she's in for a fight. Rhea Ripley as dominant as ever. The bell has sounded and now is the time to succeed. The women's championship is on the line. Who is the better woman of Monday Night Raw? Rhea Ripley looking to bring her presence and absolutely dominate over Liv Morgan in the early going. Obviously has got the strength and size advantage in this matchup. Liv Morgan's got a stick and move in my personal opinion. Look at Rhea ever since the opening bell not even a minute ago, is all over the number one contender. Rhea Ripley has dominated a lot of the Raw Women's Division, whether it's been championship matches or non-title affairs over the last year. There is a reason she is on top of Monday nights. Can Liv Morgan be the kryptonite to Superwoman's championship reign? Liv taking a minute to create some distance on the outside. Rhea, however, well, sends her into the ropes, Liv. Look at this, big time DDT spiking her on the crown of her head. And now Liv Morgan with the boots. Tilt to whirl takes the champion down. Liv Morgan has got to do her best, trying to stick, move, and keep down the champion and cannot take her eye off the ball like she just did moments ago. Rhea Ripley is looking to make a statement tonight. The first live premiere event of 2024. The road to WrestleMania kicking off. Rhea looking to remind the entire women's division, not just on Raw, but in all of WWE, that there is only one queen of the queendom, and that is the Eradicator. Just absolutely women handling live over the top rope that time. There's also the test in this matchup as to what, whether Rhea Ripley is really taking Liv Morgan seriously or not. Liv's a former champion, but that did not last long. You gotta call it what it is. Liv was able to take down Asuka last May and become the women's champion four weeks later. Was tapped out by Shayna Baszler in the middle of Philadelphia. And Liv has been unable to obtain the championship once more ever since, so will tonight be the night? Or is Rhea Ripley just gonna con continue to have her way over the number one contender? Again, as we we're about to mention, Rhea Ripley cannot take the opponent lightly, however. She just sends her right to those diamond-plated steps. I'll tell you what, if this continues, this is going to be a historic win for Rhea Ripley. And she literally is steamrolling over the competition right now. Liv Morgan has got little to no offense in since the opening bell a few minutes ago. And Rhea is just making an example. Ragdolling Liv at ringside, casually making her way back into the ring. It's a picnic on Sunday afternoon. And now into the cover once more. Rhea to retain the championship. 
Liv is still into this. You cannot discount the heart of Liv Morgan. She has scratched and clawed her way back to number one contendership. Victories over Blair Davenport, Tiffany Stratton. She has gone to war, win, lose, or draw with Asuka and Shayna Baszler, Becky Lynch over the last year. Can she keep down Rhea tonight? Now you gotta pull the hair a little bit, take her down to the canvas, do what you gotta do. Here comes Liv, house of fire this time, trying to take down the nightmare of the Judgment Day. Starting to build some momentum. Can she capitalize on it? Goes for the kick. And Rhea Ripley closing the window on that opportunity. And Liv was going for that tilt to whirl again. Rhea nowhere to be found. And a big time German suplex takes down the challenger. Just like that, Liv Morgan's momentum squandered in a matter of moments by the champion. Rhea Ripley hell bent on domination tonight in Las Vegas. Back into the cover to retain the title and Liv. Some great ring awareness that time, only using enough energy. She has to extend to reach out and grab the ropes. I don't know what it's gonna take. I mean, Liv Morgan obviously did her homework on Rhea Ripley, but at the end of the day, when you're in the ring with somebody who is as physically dominating as the Nightmare, all bets are off, plans go out the window, and you are in for the fight of your life. That is why Rhea was Mrs. Money in the Bank. That is why she cashed in successfully, why she's defended it successfully ever since. Why she was recognized as the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. And back to the outside we go. And I do not think this is where Liv Morgan needs to be right now. Just trying to create some distance. Get Rhea off her tail for a moment. But Rhea's having none of it. Again into the barricade. Oh, not. Bam! Ragdoll on her. Liv is out. Her tank is running on E, and we are only a few minutes into this contest. A few minutes might feel like an eternity when you're in there with the Eradicator. Liv Morgan's tank clearly starting to run on E. Fatigue is dwindling, and Liv Morgan eats the canvas once more. Back into the cover we go. Liv with a kick out, but how much is realistically left? Let me rephrase what I said moments ago. Endurance quickly dwindling in Liv Morgan and fatigue starting to set in. Back into the corner and Liv doesn't even have enough strength to keep her standing upright. Rhea Ripley, oh wait a minute, there you go. The challenger knocks the champion off her feet. Rhea's still swinging. What do you gotta do just to keep some damage on this woman? feels like a boss fight at the end of a difficulty video game for Liv Morgan tonight as she tries to rally. Las Vegas behind her, takes down the champion once more. Liv has not been on the receiving end of a lot of good grace in this match. She has been on the receiving end of a beatdown. Can she mount a comeback here and find the will within her to become the women's champion? Up into the ropes, Rhea Ripley might have her bell rung off that little bit of offense by the challenger. Liv's gotta keep the foot on the gas pedal, the best of her abilities. Obviously, it's gotta be hurt, and it's gotta be feeling fatigue. But the former women's champion has fought long and hard to get this opportunity, not looking to see it go to the wayside tonight. And a kick out only at one. Maria Ripley's got a lot left in the tank, and that is not good for Liv Morgan, who just gets absolutely slashed from behind with a mean lariat by the champion. And back into the corner again, and the story continues to repeat itself. Domination from the women's champion. Rhea Ripley is out to make a statement tonight. Out to prove her dominance. Why she sits at the top of the throne. Liv Morgan, no matter how much she tries to mount a comeback in this match, she just, she just cannot get some sustained momentum. There she goes again. She's trying to create that distance. Get herself in the driver's seat. Rhea Ripley with other plans. Rhea Ripley is coming in at the top of her game tonight, no doubt about it. 
He is really starting to take the life out of this Las Vegas crowd with every shot to live Morgan. And as she soaks in the booze from T-Mobile Arena, I think it just fuels Rhea Ripley that much more to just continue this beatdown on the fan favorite and Liv Morgan. Kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute. Down goes Liv with a riptide. Into the cover. And that's it. That is it. Rhea Ripley just made the statement that she came to Sin City to make. Liv Morgan scratched and clawed to become the number one contender. It did not matter to the nightmare here tonight. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. That was one of the most lopsided performances I have ever seen inside of the squared circle. Rhea Ripley, pure domination here at the Rumble. The eradicator of the Judgment Day keeps the championship over her shoulder. Another victory for the ever-dominating 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of domination, coming up next, the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar returns to T-Mobile Arena as he's got a meeting 20 years in the making with the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Last month at Armageddon, the Rated R Superstar, Edge, stood on the precipice of his year-long pursuit. The World Heavyweight Championship hung in the balance. Gunther, the Ring General, welcomed the challenge, but under a stipulation that would reshape Edge's path. A valiant effort fell short, and the Iconoclast found himself at a crossroads, unable to ever challenge for the world title as long as Gunther holds the gold. But when one door closes, another one opens. Edge, a Hall of Famer, revealed a game-changing twist. His exclusive contract with SmackDown had expired just 24 hours before Armageddon, rendering him a new free agent in the WWE. The Rated R Superstar seized the opportunity to test his medal against Monday Night Raw's best, including none other than the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. But as fate would have it, another free agent emerged from the shadows, a behemoth with the same championship aspirations. The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, returning for the first time since October. Lesnar laid out Edge with not one, but two F5, making a profound statement. Rumors have circulated that Lesnar sees Edge not as a personal rival, but as a clear-cut stepping stone to a WWE or world title match. Tonight, the narrative shifts from gold to glory as Edge, the Iconoclast, the Rated R Superstar, and Lesnar, the Alpha Male, the Beast Incarnate, collide. For the first time in over two decades, these legends will share the ring, not for a title, but for the chance to etch their name in the annals of history. The most hard-fought wars are often waged over the gold itself, but tonight, Edge and Lesnar embark on a different kind of battle. A clash not for the championship, but for the opportunity to stand at the summit once again. The stakes are high, the legends are primed, and the journey to glory begins at the Royal Rumble. It is a big fight feel here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, for the first time in over 20 years, goes one on one with the Rated R Superstar Edge. For these two men, opportunity hangs in the balance. Lesnar, as well as the iconic class, looking to punch their ticket to a future championship opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! 
Lesnar has made his intentions clear. He does not see Edge as some personal rival. There is no vendetta between these two men. Tonight is about one thing. Lesnar looking to use the Hall of Famer as a stepping stone to become the number one contender for either the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. This is a battle between two top free agents in the WWE. And with the legendary careers these two men have, to be this hungry at this late in the game is a testament to the fighters that are about to step foot inside of that squared circle. Lesnar laid out Edge in his own hometown of Toronto, Ontario, Canada with not one, but two F5s. Tonight, Edge looking for a measure of retribution and also possibly looking to become the number one contender for Raw's WWE title. What the result will be, we find out in moments. But the arrival of the Rated R Superstar is right here, right now. Edge comes to Las Vegas, sporting the war paint, as he knows he is in for the fight of his life against the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. For the first time in 20 years, they clash, and I got a feeling it's gonna be worth the wait. And his opponent. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. And... I'll tell you what, there's just been a big fight feel all night long so far in T-Mobile Arena. The first live premiere event of 2024. The road to WrestleMania beginning here tonight. All the superstars, the men and the women in that locker room fired up as is this crowd in T-Mobile Arena. And for the first time since 2002, Edge and Lesnar go one on one. You hear the audience here in Vegas. Is Sin City about to become Suplex City as the bell sounds and Edge is hot out of the gate. There may be no personal vendetta for Brock Lesnar tonight, but for Edge, looking at Lesnar, the man who left him looking up at the lights just a few weeks ago at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. Edge obviously with that clause, thanks to his failure to defeat Guther last month at Armageddon, unable to challenge for SmackDown's World Heavyweight Championship as long as Guther holds the gold. Possibly could be the expiration date on Guther's reign later tonight as he defends against Ricochet, but Edge looking at the WWE Championship over on Raw, no matter who holds the gold, as a clear cut way back to the top. All remains to be seen who is gonna put themselves in line for future championship opportunities. But first, go big or go home in this legendary clash here tonight. Edge coming high out of the gate. Lesnar looking to slow down the iconic class at armbar here. And unfortunately for Edge, a Hall of Famer late in the game, still obviously extremely active inside of that ring and still able to do counters like that. What I was about to mention is Edge has, had, Edge has had a lot of injuries over the years, and if there's anybody who will certainly exploit those injuries inside of the ring, it is the, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Edge finding his way out of that arm bar right there. I'm sure Edge did his homework on Brock. Looked at the Kimura lock, looked at the arm bar, looked at several submission holds that Brock likes to apply and tried to find a way out of them. He's the ultimate opportunist for a reason. Edge has been known throughout his career to find reversals out of his opponent's best maneuvers. Look at Edge over the top rope. Oh man, a crash and burn. Nobody home as Edge was soaring through the skies. The Beast and Karnak got out of the way and now the Beast is going on the hunt. Brock Lesnar allowing Edge to crash on the floor of T-Mobile Arena. And now Lesnar looking to seek on his prey. Hanging him up on the top rope. This is Brock Lesnar's first time competing inside the squared circle since back in October at Clash of the Castle. Which coincidentally enough that night was a number one contenders match for the WWE Championship that the almighty Bobby Lashley would go on to win and he finally gets the opportunity that he earned on that night here tonight at the Rumble. Lesnar's had one goal in mind all 2023 and now bleeding into the new year, the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. Lesnar wants to get back to the promised land and it could finally start here tonight. 
Edge, however, with different plans. I'm sure Edge in there with the Beast has came in with an A plan, a B plan, a C, all the way to Z. What will he be able to execute against the Alpha Male? Edge scale on the ropes, looking for that middle rope. Spear to the midsection. A different trajectory than the normal spear by Edge, but certainly effective nonetheless. Flying off Brett's rope that time was the fellow Canadian, and now Brock Lesnar hanging up against the ropes, and Edge sending him for a ride back to the outside. Edge better pick his choices wisely here, does not want to get into a brawl with the Beast. Lesnar making his way back inside the squared circle, able to avoid whatever Edge had in mind. I'm not sure what Edge had in mind, but nonetheless, Brock Lesnar getting his way. Fireman's carry position. Now a little bit of a roll reversal as Edge is the one eating the cables. Oh, now Lesnar, Fisherman Buster takes down Edge. And this is what Edge needs to avoid, being taken straight to Suplex City by Brock Lesnar. If Lesnar has his way, this matchup could be done in a hurry. Double Fisherman Busters that time. In a matter of moments, Edge is down, and Edge not out just yet, but certainly closer than he would like to be. Brock Lesnar, oh wait a minute. Grabbing the knee of Edge that he was just slamming up against the canvas. Lesnar with the Brock Lock in on Edge. We have not seen this submission hold out of the beast incarnate in years here in the WWE. We just talked about moments ago how Edge, I'm sure, has done his darndest to find a counter to all of Lesnar's submissions, the Kimura, the selective arm bars that Lesnar has. But Edge finds it away. An execution on Brock. Lesnar kicks out. A lot of action to keep up with in just those few seconds. Lesnar with the Brock lock for the first time in I don't even know how many years. Certainly impressive. Hoisting up a man the size of Edge in the air. Edge was started to swing and got his way out of it. Delivered that execution on Brock. Nonetheless, Lesnar is still in. And the fight continues on the outskirts of the squared circle. As we catch up to the action, what has Edge got in mind at ringside? Edge is looking for that little bit of retribution after being left looking at the lights in his hometown of Toronto a few weeks ago. What Lesnar sees as a stepping stone is a whole different story for Edge. Yes, Lesnar can be used as the same. Edge wants a championship matchup. But Edge is also out to remind the world that he still has what it takes just to fight with the best of them, just to be at the top of the mountain. That is what is on the line for Edge tonight and a spear to Brock Lesnar at ringside. Edge not afraid to throw caution in the wind. What could have been disaster with somebody like Brock Lesnar on the other side, Edge delivers that spear to the fullest extent. And now getting the weakened beast back inside the squared circle and into the cover goes the Iconoclast. And Lesnar still into this, but a very unenthusiastic kick out, dare I say, by Brock Lesnar. The offense may be, may be beginning to stack. Execution a few minutes ago, Edge delivering that spear on the outside and now stomping a mud hole in the beast. The rated R superstar throwing some of his best shots against Lesnar so far. But Lesnar, like an absolute freak of nature, is still into this match. You better stay focused, however. Edge came in tonight ready for war. It's written all over his face. And now Edge looking to put the final nail in the coffin of Brock Lesnar's championship desires. For the first time in 20 years they meet. In 2002, they met over the undisputed WWE Championship across the pond in London, England. Lesnar was the victor on that night. Will the result be different this day and age? Off the middle rope again. Edge with the hangman's neck breaker. And a kick out by Lesnar as Las Vegas, Nevada, showing their appreciation for these two legends. Lesnar rolling to the outside. The Beast is hurt. And Edge, looking to capitalize, this time delivers off the landing. Over the top rope. 
and got the drop zone. Lesnar right down in position. And Edge unable to put Lesnar away moments ago off that swinging neck breaker. Now looking to stack up some more offense on the outside of the squared circle. Breaking the barricade that time. And the interesting thing here is we're really starting to enter some late waters, but Edge has already thrown some of his best shots. What is it going to take for Edge to keep down Brock Lesnar in this match? Maybe throwing some caution in the wind will do just that. Cross body to the outside. Lesnar is down, but is Lesnar out? Back inside the ring, Edge goes, but only for a short minute. Back to the outside. Broke the count. I don't know why he would want to walk into the waiting arms of the Beast on the outside, but nonetheless, Lesnar tackling down Edge. Now throwing him from pillar to post. And dare I say, Lesnar's the one that needs this distance right now. Lesnar might need the moment to breathe, try to catch up to Edge. I don't even know why I state that fact, because look who we're dealing with, Lesnar. The absolute freak of nature, the absolute alpha male, going right back to the outside and swinging lefts and rights. This is a fight that we expected here in Las Vegas between the Hall of Famer and a first ballot one. These two men just continue to break the referee's count of 10. They have been on the outside for upwards of a minute and change, but no count out just yet. And hopefully we don't see one. We gotta see a decisive winner between Edge and Lesnar here tonight as Edge hanging up Brock in the top rope. Brock down momentarily. Will Edge be able to capitalize this time? Another kick to the gut. Thought he could have been going for the execution, but enough to keep down Lesnar is all that matters. Off the middle rope again, and nobody home as Lesnar beat and Edge to the punch. And oh no, Lesnar going for the kill. Tamora Lock locked in. Down on the canvas they go, and Edge has got to be reeking in agony. Will Edge find a way out of this submission? Or is this Kimura Lock, Brock Lesnar's way for victory tonight? Oh, look at Edge, rolling out of it. Damage had to be done, but nonetheless, still in this fight, but look at Lesnar keeping his foot on the gas pedal, into the bridge. And Edge able to get the shoulder up. These men are throwing their best shots in this matchup. Lesnar's got his eyes on a weakened Hall of Famer. I think we know what comes next. The F5. Into the cover goes Brock. But Edge is still into it. At the last second, the Rated R Superstar hangs on. But Lesnar, the freak of nature that he is, not wasted any time. Back to the Kimura lock. Dead center of the squared circle. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for the alpha male. The F5 didn't do it. Will the second Kimura locked in bring this to a finish? Edge struggling to hold on. Pushes Lesnar off of him. And a spear by Edge. Out of nowhere, into the cover. Brock's still alive. Brock is still alive. What a match here in T-Mobile Arena. Back and forth, the pendulum swings between Edge and Lesnar, but who is gonna get the final blow? It may well just be Brock after that closed line from hell seconds ago. These two men want another trip to the top of the mountain, but who is gonna get there first? Who is the Rocket gonna get strapped to tonight? Will it be Lesnar? Will it be Edge? To the victor goes the spoils. Oh, Lesnar's got his eyes locked like a predator seeking its prey. Lesnar's going on the hunt for a second emphatic F5. Into the cover goes the Beast Incarnate. And Brock Lesnar picks up a decisive victory here at the Royal Rumble. Well, credit to both men, Edge and Lesnar leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside the squared circle. Edge fought to a bitter end, but tonight the better man is the future first ballot Hall of Famer and Brock Lesnar. Here is your winner.
Brock Lesnar looked at Edge as a stepping stone to a world championship matchup. Now that Lesnar has gotten his wish, has defeated the Rated R Superstar here at one of the biggest events of the year, will Brock get the next? Will Lesnar be in line to become the number one contender for either the WWE title on Raw or the World Heavyweight Championship on Friday Night SmackDown? It is time for our next championship to be defended here in Las Vegas. The World Tag Team titles from Monday Night Raw are on the line. The New Day, month in and month out, have been climbing their way back to number one contendership in the tag team division on Monday Night Raw. Tonight, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods look to finally reclaim the gold that the New Day have held for 11 times throughout their career. We want to rattle off a couple of dates, try to keep up with us. The New Day and Judgment Day, this is not their first meeting in recent months. Back on October the 2nd, Monday Night Raw, the New Day defeated the Judgment Day in tag team action. You go back to November the 20th, the Raw after Survivor Series, the Judgment Day would win the second, the second matchup, excuse me, the return match against the New Day. And then just a few weeks ago, December the 18th, Xavier Woods really earning this championship opportunity tonight against one half of the tag team champions in Damian Priest. You look at this match tonight. The New Day have won one. The Judgment Day have won one. This is a bit of a rubber match of sorts, but the stakes couldn't be any higher as Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods finally get the world tag team title match they have been clamoring for over on Monday Night Raw. But of course, a tall task ahead of them as they meet the 2023 Tag Team of the Year voted by you, the fans. The two-time World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. And The Judgment Day have certainly been a busy team as of late. You go back to Armageddon, where they secured those titles for the second time, taking down their rivals in Butch and Ridge Holland of the Rolling Brutes and that vicious Tornado Tag Team matchup. And then on Christmas night, they wrote the final chapter in their storied history with the Brutes in that ladder matchup where Balor and Priest would barely survive and leave with their World Tag Team titles. We knew on that night that the winners would move on to right here tonight at the Royal Rumble to meet the New Day, contesting for the gold. And now all roads lead to, the, lead to tonight, the Royal Rumble. The World Tag Team titles of Monday Night Raw are on the line. And you gotta wonder what's going through these two heads as well of both teams. You remember the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic? The Raw side of the bracket kicks off tomorrow night. The losing team here tonight at the Rumble will take the eighth spot in that tournament. Very interesting situation at hand. The Tag Team Division heating up week in and week out on Monday Night Raw, but tonight it's for all the marbles. It has been an awesome night of action so far here at T-Mobile Arena. Thank you for joining us live in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. The stakes are high, and it is time to decide the World Tag Team titles of Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds, they are the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. 
Your second championship match of the evening as Finn Balor and Damian Priest hand over the gold for what could be the very last time in their second tag team title reign. Already tonight, Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day, a dominating victory over Liv Morgan to retain her WWE Women's Championship. Will the result be the same for Priest and Balor? Bell has sounded and here we go. Xavier Woods who picked up that huge victory. Momentum building for the New Day. A couple of weeks ago on Raw against Damian Priest. Kicking things off with the Prince Finn Balor. Speaking of kicking, Balor looking to kick Xavier Woods' head into the fifth row of T-Mobile Arena. I'll tell you what, this is a highly anticipated matchup for a lot of the WWE Universe and myself included. Woods and Kofi, one way or another, have been scratching and clawing their way to try to earn a tag team title matchup. Back and forth with the Judgment Day. We've seen them in the ring with the brawling brutes as well in singles action. Woods and Kofi Kingston have held many a tag team gold throughout their career along with Big E, of course, of the New Day. We'd love to see back in action eventually on Monday Night Raw, wishing him the best. The Woods and Kofi Kingston here tonight, looking to bring one home for the New Day, add another tag team championship reign to their already historic careers. There's a tag made to the veteran, and Kofi Kingston and a tag made to the punishment of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest. In several singles encounters back in September and October between these two teams as well. All roads have led to the kickoff of 2024. Kofi Kingston, a huge springboard maneuver moments ago. And Priest and Balor, got to wonder what their mindset coming into this matchup is. The last time they had just a normal tag team match was that victory against the New Day, November the 20th on Raw. Since then, as we mentioned, the latter match on Christmas night, Tornado tag back at Armageddon. Back to a normal set of rules tonight, but our Priest and Balor, a little bit used to the chaos. Our Woods and Kofi looking to take advantage. Big time double team maneuver. Kofi and Woods looking strong here in the early going. Kofi and Woods have fought tooth and nail to get this opportunity. They're not looking to see it pass by tonight. The road to WrestleMania kicks off, and tonight could be the tickets being punched for one of these teams to go and defend the World Tag Team titles at WrestleMania. Talked about it a little bit moments ago, but of course, the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Two separate tournaments this year, one for Raw, one for SmackDown. SmackDowns will begin in February, but Monday Night Rawls begins tomorrow night on the red brand. And of course, the winners of the Dusty Tag Team Classic will go on to WrestleMania in March to challenge for the World Tag Team titles. Could very well be one of these two teams defending the gold. And the losing team tonight, well, they're gonna have one more shot at the Tag Team Championships in some way by having the chance to go through the Dusty Tag Team Tournament over the next couple of weeks in the Road to Elimination Chamber. The losers here tonight will be the eighth team in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Finn Balor getting tagged in here. Of course, again, that tournament kicks off tomorrow night. On Monday Night Raw, we're going to see Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander take it on pretty deadly. As well as the Brawling Brutes in action against the Street Profits. And hold that thought. Finn Balor going for the Topekin Hero over the top. Nobody home. Kofi Kingston looking to take advantage. Yeah, we've seen a couple of wipeouts tonight. Everybody going for the hills but not getting the delivery. Kofi Kingston, normally see him take it to the air. Finn Balor's got a couple of springs in those legs as well, but not getting the landing he so hoped for. Kofi Kingston fired up. Finn Balor making the tag to the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. And Priest looks like his luck not gonna be too much better, but there's a counter right there. I'll tell you what, the Judgment Day have been on a mission statement to declare themselves not just the best tag team on Raw, not just the best tag team in the WWE, but the best tag team of all time. And they got a long way to go, but they are certainly making a case in 2023 and now into 2024. Two-time tag team champions, as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, Priest and Balor coming together last March, and they have certainly changed the landscape of not only the tag team division, but Monday Night Raw. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods win, lose, or draw. Absolutely. The New Day collectively one of the greatest tag teams and units of all time. 
Priest and Balor looking for that feather in the cap tonight. They have beat the New Day in the past, but the New Day have beaten them. Tonight is the rubber match for all the marbles. Who gets the last laugh? Who declares themselves better of these two duos? Big time shot by the Archer of Infamy. And Kofi Kingston may be in trouble. Face first off the canvas. Priest looking for the three count. Not just yet, Xavier Woods. A lot of life left in him. Kofi and Woods have fought some of the best of them over the years. Historic feud with the Usos, Jay and Jimmy dating back to 2017. Kofi, Woods, Big E came together 10 years ago this year. The New Day celebrating a decade of sure dominance at some points. And Kofi and Woods looking to celebrate that anniversary here tonight as Kofi and Woods look to reclaim the tag team titles. Kofi's starting to stack some offense on Priest. And that's what he's got to do. Chop down the big man. Kofi and Woods, veterans of tag team matches. Although Priest and Balor have really made an impact, as we mentioned. Nowhere near the experience of the New Day. Will that play a factor into this high-profile tag team title match? Kofi and Woods very well used to going the distance. Something we have seen Priest and Balor do with teams like the Brawling Brutes. Teams like Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows of the OC back at SummerSlam last year. Not afraid to go into those deep waters and tag team matches to retain their gold. But Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston all in for the race tonight. But who's going to reach the finish line first? It's not going to be a new day, at least at this very moment. Nonetheless, Kofi and Woods doing a number on Damian Priest right now. One step closer to winning the world tag team titles. And of course, as we mentioned, the losers of this matchup will secure that ace spot in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, but they won't even know who their opponents are going to be yet because there's a mystery spot of those eight in the Dusty Classic. Talked about earlier, we got Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes, those Carolina boys teaming up against Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly tomorrow night, as well as the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, taking on the former tag team champions in Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. Wait a minute, Kofi Kingston go for trouble in paradise, nobody home. Great counter by Priest. Like him or not, executed the reversal to perfection and a tilt-a-whirl for good measures. Damian Priest, that was a last-ditch effort. Kofi and Woods controlling the last few minutes. Damian Priest avoiding the exclamation point off that trouble in paradise. And secured a boot right to the jawline of Kofi. Now Finn Balor in there and a backstabber to one half of the New Day competing for the gold tonight. And Balor looking to completely turn this match on its head. Trying to break the kneecaps of Kofi Kingston off the canvas. You take away those, Kofi ain't going to be springing around this ring. Balor and Priest, as we mentioned, looking to claim their spot as one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And still early on in their run compared to others, they believe they are in the conversation. Tonight could be the next step in building that house. One brick by brick for Balor and Priest. But Kofi and Woods looking for a different result. Off the reversal that time, Kofi Kingston's got to take advantage, but obviously, offense starting to stack up and not able to move as fast as the beginning bell. Off the double knees, but Kofi still into this match. This is what the World Tag Titles are all about. This is really what Balor and Priest have been about throughout their tag team title reign. We talked about going the distance, something the Judgment Day is not afraid to do. They are not afraid to take their time with their opponents, pick them apart limb by limb, and do anything they gotta do to try to retain the titles. But Kofi Kingston, talk about anything you gotta do, and SOS on Balor. Not going for the cover. Kofi believes the Judgment Day and good on him. Still got more in the tank. Going to elect for a little tag team maneuver this time. A tag made to Woods going up, up, down, down with the axe hammer. And Kofi and Woods, veterans of these tag team matches and high profile ones at that. Will they be leaving Las Vegas with the winning prize? Woods. Full head of steam. What a clothesline. Slingshotting himself. And scaling the ropes. Woods going for the kill. Elbow drop. 
New tag team champions on the horizon. Damian Priest not even going to allow that thought to creep into the mind. Great effort by Kofi and Woods. Stacking up that offense on Finn Bauer. And this match may not be out of close, but damage certainly done to Bauer and Priest of the Judgment Day. Now Bauer just trying to get back into this matchup. Nice arm drag that time. Xavier Woods thought he had it, and if it weren't for Damian Priest, we very well may have new World Tag Team Champions right now. Thus, the matchup rolls on. It's been a great night of action so far over the last hour and change here in T-Mobile Arena at Las Vegas, Nevada. It's still so much more action to come. Championships are on the line. The 30-man Royal Rumble match. This is what the Rumble's all about. This is what the road to WrestleMania kick it off is all about. The excitement, the energy, the fireworks tonight. And Damian Priest looking to start their road to WrestleMania on the right foot as he delivers Xavier Woods face first off the canvas into the cover. And Kofi Kingston breaking it up, another close call. As we might have got a conclusion in this tag team title match. Now Woods pulling the rug out from underneath Priest. Priest going for the tag, has been in too long, but obviously offense is offense. Here's Balor trying to come in a house of fire. Xavier Woods having none of it. Suplex, simple yet effective, you gotta love it. Some good old tag team wrestling here tonight. Good old fashioned. Balor with the drop toe hold. These teams trying to keep their partners fresh, but only so much you can do when you get into deep territory. Championship rounds, and Balor delivering Woods one last time off the canvas. Is that enough? Count of two, Woods is still alive. Now Balor going to the top. Could be looking for the kill. Woods in the drop zone for the coup de grace. Kingston breaks it up. The matchup is still alive. And Las Vegas is alive as well. Tag team wrestling on display in the spotlight here in T-Mobile Arena as the New Day and the Judgment Day leave it all on the line for the World Tag Team titles. What a move by Woods. And Finn Balor. A very unenthusiastic kick out, but a kick out nonetheless. Woods trying to get that exclamation point. Nobody home off the delivery. Reversal for reversal that time. Woods sending a weakened Balor into the corner, but how much does Woods have knocked out of him after that coup de grace moments ago? And Balor starting to unload. Live rounds, the chops, the fist. This will weaken your opponent. Chopping him down to size. And once more, the punishment of the Judgment Day. Damian Priest tagged in, looking to put the kill on Woods and retain the World Tag Team titles. Off the middle, buckle going for a look like a midsection spear. However, Woods getting out of harm's way. And a drop toe hold, again, reversal for reversal, and Kofi Kingston. I think Priest was trying to get Kofi, oh, that time he does. Priest was going after Kofi. Kofi saw it coming first, unfortunately, not the second. Divide and conquer may be the mentality of the tag team champions tonight, but Xavier Woods trying to fight. Not much you can do in a handicap situation. Kofi Kingston nursing down on the outside. Priest rolling out there. Xavier Woods, all kinds of fired up. Tope Suicida, the New Day are coming alive. Xavier Woods rallying the troops here in Las Vegas. Man, we very well could be on the verge of new world tag team champions tonight at the Rumble. First live premier event of 2024, starting out with a bang. And only about halfway through this show, we have got a stellar tag team matchup on hand from Monday Night Raw's best. Priest sending Woods in a New Day territory. I don't think, oh, well, maybe he did. Kofi Kingston made this tag, and he got him with the trouble in paradise. Tagged him just at the last second, but Finn Balor breaking it up. Amazing. And Damian Priest kips up, and a mean shot to Kofi. 
strike for strike, and now south of heaven. And Woods breaking things up. This thing may not see a close until they have absolutely nothing left in the tank. Kofi Kingston down on the outside after the south of heaven. Oh, wait a minute. Balor turning his sights to Kofi. Priest turning his sights to Woods. There's a lot of action going on right now. Referee's got to get out of harm's way. Kofi Kingston catching Priest with the double boots. And back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings in this tag team title match. But who is going to get that everlasting final blow? The losers move on, become the eighth, te eighth team in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The winners hold the World Tag Team titles and will possibly be the ones defending the gold at WrestleMania in March. Kofi Kingston wants to head back to the grandest stage with gold around their waist. Beautiful maneuver over the big man, Damian Priest especially. And Kofi dropping the boom on the Archer of Infamy. But again, Balor in there to ensure that we don't even get a one count. There's a lot of action to keep up with, a lot of moving parts. Kofi going for a second trouble in paradise. Nobody home. Damian Priest once again countering. Kofi has tried for three trouble in paradises in this match. One delivered, two to no avail. Xavier Woods reaching out for the tag. Damian Priest not going to allow it. And Priest with a weakened Kofi Kingston going south of heaven. Second time delivers once more. And the Judgment Day retain the World Tag Team titles. Tonight was the rubber match. The New Day won the first. The Judgment Day won the second. And the Judgment Day get the last laugh in Sin City. The New Day will move on to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and try to fight their way through to gain another title opportunity. But the gold remains with Finn Balor and Damian Priest here tonight at the Royal Rumble. Here are your winners and still World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. A great tag team wrestling matchup from two of Monday Night Raw's best. Tomorrow night, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicks off, and we're going to take a look at that bracket in moments. But the story here in Las Vegas is that the 2023 Tag Team of the Year continues forward, and 2024, Priest and Balor retain the gold. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. It all kicks off tomorrow night on Raw, the 2024 Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic, the Raw Bracket. That'll culminate in three weeks time at the Elimination Chamber. As you can see, the New Day has taken that final spot and still the mystery spot as to who will challenge the New Day in the first round of the 2024 Dusty Cup. But coming your way tomorrow night on Raw, the tournament kicks off as the Carolina boys, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes take on Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. Also tomorrow night on Raw, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Four of the Street Profits will take on Brawling Brutes Butch and Ridge Holland, who will advance to the semifinals in the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. We will find out live tomorrow night on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's 
But the action rolls forward here in T-Mobile Arena. And the attention goes to SmackDown's women's division with the Women's World Championship on the line. The number one contender and a deserving one at that. The EST of the WWE. The strongest, the fastest, one of the fastest rising stars in WWE history, Bianca Belair. Last month at Armageddon, Bianca was within inches of becoming the women's world champion against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Unfortunately, Baszler was just a better woman on that night in Detroit. However, Christmas week, Bianca Belair capitalizing in that eight woman battle royal, becoming the number one contender and securing her spot for one more round against the champion herself. Just 48 hours ago, Bianca picking up the victory in a competitive matchup against Candice LeRae. Moments later, Shayna Baszler walked down the aisle, stood face to face with her challenger tonight, reminding Bianca what awaits her here in Las Vegas. And you know, Rhea Ripley from Raw may have been voted the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, but you're looking at a woman who had a stellar 2023 as well. Shayna Baszler, at one point in her career, these are he, her words, felt she was in obscurity, felt she was in the back of the line, the lowest point in her career. But last year, she flipped the switch, became one of the most dominant women on SmackDown, earned a WWE Women's Championship opportunity, won it in the first try, retained it against Liv Morgan, Asuka, Candice LeRae, only lost the title thanks to the Money in the Bank cash-in by said woman, Rhea Ripley. And then once the Women's World Championship was created for SmackDown, Shayna Baszler qualified by defeating Bianca Belair via countout in London, England back in October, moved on to Survivor Series, and was the last woman standing to leave with that gold. Shayna Baszler had a bounce back year, if you will, a comeback in 2023, rose to the top of the mountain, looking to continue that in 2024. These two women damn near stole the show last month in Detroit at Armageddon. They're looking to do so again live here at the Royal Rumble. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And her opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the WWE Women's World Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Another high profile matchup here in T Mobile Arena. Sin City's been rocking all night long for the kickoff to the road to WrestleMania. And as Shayna Baszler hands over the Women's World Championship, you gotta wonder if she's handing it over for the very last time. Bianca Belair came within inches of winning that gold last month in Detroit. Will her road to Las Vegas lead her to leaving with the championship gold? We will find out as the bell has sounded. Baszler hot out of the gate, and Bianca catch her with a spine buster. Quick pinfall, almost had the champion that time. Dare I say, a, a rookie mistake from Shayna Baszler. I don't know what the thought process was. Very rarely see Baszler come out that hot and get caught off her game. And look at Baszler immediately taking Bianca down and almost cocky in her offense right now. Well, Shayna Baszler better not take Bianca Belair lightly tonight because Bianca gave her the fight of her life at Armageddon. Bianca Belair just found herself between a rock and a hard place, that being Shayna Baszler and that Carafuda clutch. That is why she came up short four weeks ago in Detroit. Tonight could easily go the opposite way. Bianca hits that KOD, the 450 splash, whatever it may be, the EST very well could walk out of here, SmackDown's Women's World Champion. Shayna Baszler right now, trying to beat the brakes off of her challenger. Rhea Ripley had a dominating performance over Liv Morgan tonight. Gotta wonder if there's a little chess match going on between these two dominant champions on Raw and SmackDown. Shayna could be looking for a dominant performance herself. The higher things are at stake, and that's the Women's World Championship as she takes down Bianca Belair. 
and beginning to just beat down her opponent through those open palm strikes. That rush out of the gate might not have worked out for the Queen of Spades, but right now, leader of the Queen Army is having her way with her challenger. We talked about it on SmackDown. We talked about it in the Battle Royal a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure Bianca has been replaying that match with Shayna in her head ever since Armageddon, realizing her mistakes, looking to fix them tonight and get the different result that she was hoping for in Little Caesars Arena last month. Trying to reverse Baszler that time, but Shayna keeping the momentum and not looking to hand it to Bianca on a silver platter. Baszler's got so many ways to beat you down inside of that ring and so many ways to finish you and retain her championship. That is one of the reasons that Baszler has been so dominant and unbeatable in 2023. Baszler scaling the ropes, uncharacteristic. Could be going for that knee she went for moments ago. Well, this time Bianca on her feet and Baszler! Almost a superwoman punch from the heavens. And again, a lot of near falls from Shayna thus far, but Bianca's hanging in there. Baszler's going for a lot of near falls in the early going. I don't know what the strategy is, but she believes she can't go the distance with Bianca. If she doesn't want to go the distance because she knows how that worked out at Armageddon, just scrape by to retain her title. Don't question the champ, I guess. I don't know what her blueprint is. Coming into this matchup, but so far, not so good. The EST over the top and down to the floor with the crossbody. Bianca Belair spent 2023 trying to reclaim championship gold. At one point, was one half of the women's tag team champions with her former friend Shotzi and had Shotzi turn her back on her, led to a back and forth feud into the late summer and fall. Remember that no disqualifications match between the two women back at the season premiere of SmackDown a few months ago. Nonetheless, Bianca Belair has worked long and hard to obtain these championship opportunities. Former champion in her own right, not looking to see this one go by the wayside, but Baszler with that arm bar locked in could be spelling the end of this matchup. Bianca Belair, one of the strongest, fastest, and toughest superstars in the WWE today. But can she withstand a beatdown from Shayna? Bianca getting out of it by hook or by crook, and now just tackling Baszler down to the canvas. Could just be trying to tame the champion. And now Bianca looking to rev up her engines in a signature splash. Only a one count that time. This is the return match for Warmageddon. I'm sure Bianca Belair, as we mentioned, Let's re-watch that tape back time and time again. Trying to figure out where she went wrong, where Baszler went right, and how she can capitalize this time around and leave with the championship. A lot riding on the line for Bianca Belair. Opportunities do not come around every day. She was able to make the most of that eight-woman battle royal the week of Christmas on Friday Night SmackDown. And Bianca Belair comes up short tonight. That may be the last championship opportunity in her near future. And with WrestleMania on the horizon, the EST looking to get back to the show of shows as the champion. Oh man, and a mean shot! Forget the KOD, that was just a KO. Bianca Belair throwing haymakers, some live rounds, and it might have just woke up Baszler instead of knocking her out, because there's Shayna stacking her up with a signature powerbomb. And Bianca able to get the kick out. Not very enthusiastic either. And Bianca trying to withstand the pain, fight through with adrenaline on her side, but here we go, Baszler trying to do the same. And this is where things get dangerous, and Baszler's looking for the kill. Oh, she's got it locked in. Carafuda clutch. This is what brought the match at Armageddon to a close. Baszler won the Women's World Championship at Survivor Series with this maneuver. Baszler won the WWE Women's Championship last summer with this submission hold. Will it bring her the prize tonight? Bianca trying to fight. Elbows to the rib cage. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. And Baszler unable to hold on to the submission hold. Oh, Bianca unable to take advantage of the distance that was created a few moments prior. And now Baszler with another submission. Look at this. Just tying up the one leg of Bianca. It looks like she's got the knee into the lower back as well. Bianca is all kind of stretched in ways your body is not supposed to move. 
First the Carafuda clutch, then immediately into this maneuver. Bianca trying to fight through the pain, but no way. She is with 100%. And Shayna unloading on the challenger. Going back to the well, Carafuda clutch. Wait a minute. There's a counter by Bianca who finally is able to get behind and chop down the champion. These two women, as we mentioned, damn near stole the show at Armageddon. They may be on the verge of doing so yet again here tonight at the Royal Rumble. Baszler just not allowing a Bianca Belair comeback. Bianca's trying her damnedest to try to create that distance and try to get momentum back on her side. But Baszler is just finding a way to cut Bianca off at every turn. Bianca desperate for victory tonight. Knows this may be her last chance at the Women's World Championship. She has had two previous encounters with Shayna Baszler. One of those being for the gold, neither of those going her way. Bianca's gonna have to dig down deep tonight and pull out some of her best offense. And that's what I'm talking about. Military press on the champion. And now Bianca heading to the top. Oh, 450, but nobody home. That could have been all she wrote. Bianca could have been on the verge of winning the title. Nobody home off the 450, but nobody home off the suplex attempt. There is not a person sitting down in T-Mobile Arena. These two SmackDown superstars leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside that ring in order to obtain the women's world title. And Bianca with another desperate kick out that time. Bianca Belair, will this be her night? A crowning achievement in the career of the EST. Former WWE Women's Champion, will she add the Women's World title to her list of accolades for the very first time? Oh, there you go. Didn't get all of it the first time. Tries again with the second and it lands flush. Baszler down, Bianca's trying to push the pace. There's another signature splash out of the challenger. A lot of live bombs being thrown in this matchup. There has not been a slow moment. Bianca and Baszler are just going at it like two bulls, full head of steam. Last woman standing wins. Back into the corner we go. I don't know what Bianca's got in mind, but it can't be good for the champion. Shayna knows that. A reversal and a step up superwoman punch. Kick right to the midsection and Baszler going back to that unique submission hold. Knee is bent and one in the lower back. Bianca's torched. And Bianca's got no choice but to tap out. Shayna with one too many ways to beat you. Bianca can't fight them all. Offense starting to stack up. And at the end of the day, regardless of the effort, only one woman could leave with the Women's World Championship. And unfortunately, for the now previous number one contender, the EST Bianca Belair is leaving T-Mobile Arena empty-handed. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's World Champion, the Queen of Fate, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler is looking to continue her dominance on SmackDown into 2024. So far, so good, as she is leaving Las Vegas, Nevada, still the Women's World Champion. And speaking of Friday Night SmackDown, the Blue Brands main event is coming up next. The Ring General Gunther wanted competition. He set his sights on the future of Flight Ricochet. Ricochet's got the biggest opportunity of his career up next for the World Heavyweight Championship. In the intricate tapestry of 2023, tonight's World Heavyweight Championship clash tells a story of two remarkable journeys for the future of flight ricochet the year left him drenched in accolades former cruiserweight champion one half of the 2023 dusty Rhodes tag team classic winners and world tag team champion recent months have seen ricochet amass singles victories against the likes of austin theory omas and most importantly the apex predator randy orton these wins have propelled Ricochet into the spotlight, earning him the chance of a lifetime to become a world champion. 
Opposing Ricochet tonight is the man whose record stands at 21 wins and only one defeat since his SmackDown debut over a year ago. This is the dominating force, Gunther. He has turned away tests from superstars like AJ Styles and Drew McIntyre and clashed with Hall of Famers such as Rey Mysterio and Edge. Now, the World Heavyweight Champion seeks new competition. In Las Vegas, the odds may be stacked against Ricochet, with Gunther standing as the favorite. However, the human highlight reel has made a career of defying the odds. It's a classic tale of David versus Goliath in Sin City. Can Ricochet overcome the destructive ring general and fulfill his lifelong dream? Or is Guther here to add yet another name to his ever-growing list of victims? The World Heavyweight Championship, the Grand Prize, awaits the victor of this monumental matchup. It's time to go double or nothing in Las Vegas and discover who will emerge as the face of Friday nights with the prestigious Big Gold Bell. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship from Friday Night SmackDown is on the line. And it is the chance of a lifetime for the future of flight, the human highlight reel, the man we call one and only. Ricochet one year ago walked into this event as the Cruiserweight Champion. Since then, we have seen the rise of the future of flight on SmackDown. One half of last year's Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic winners, former World Tag Team Champion. You see the names Ricochet has defeated just in recent months. And Ricochet really catching the eye of Gunther with not one but two victories over the Apex Predator Randy Orton. One of those coming in a miracle on 34th Street fight a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, a couple of weeks ago. I'm excited. We're in Las Vegas. It's the Royal Rumble and the big gold belts on the line. Nonetheless, high stakes, high reward. One take around here and Ricochet is looking to capitalize on his one opportunity. And this could very well tell the tale of who is going to march into WrestleMania in March as the World Heavyweight Champion. It could be Ricochet, or it could be this man, the ever-imposing Ring General, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther! Gunther, we cannot document it enough, had a decisive, and when we say decisive, extremely decisive victory over the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series two months ago. McIntyre held that gold for the majority of 2023, beat all the competition that they lined up, but could not defeat the ring general, the man who now stands at 21 wins and one loss in his entire SmackDown career. Guther thrives off competition. He says it makes him better. And whether you like the attitude, the smug attitude of Guther or not, you cannot argue the results inside the ropes. And the results are on display around the waist of Guther. There is a reason he is the World Heavyweight Champion. The reason that gold makes you the face of Friday Night SmackDown. Guther has beat some of the best. But can he get through? The man he called out, a rare occurrence, champion choosing the challenger. A David versus Goliath situation. Let's send things down to the ring for your official World Championship introductions. Introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! And his opponent, from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther! Gunther looks laser-focused. 
And the number one contender looks ready. This is certainly a monumental match in the career of the one and only. Will he be able to capitalize? No matter the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the heart that matters. And Ricochet is coming in with a heart full ready to fight. World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The road to WrestleMania begins tonight and the stakes couldn't be any higher. And here we go, bell has sounded and Ricochet immediately rejected by the ring general, but Gunther set her on the top rope, full head of steam. Tilt to world, nobody home. Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go. World titles on the line, Gunther chasing after the human highlight reel at ringside and Ricochet gets hung up on the apron. Ricochet cannot be overzealous, just like Guther cannot underestimate the one and only. Size is not all that matters here tonight. Ricochet has beaten some of the best, so has Guther. It simply comes down to who is the better man when the world title's on the line! Ricochet in the drop zone! Man, what a, this is awesome. This has already started. Ricochet and Guther going right at it in the spirit of competition. The big gold belt's on the line. This is the Royal Rumble. This is where legends are made. And Ricochet has got to find continuously ways to chop the big man down to size. Ricochet has made a career of proving those wrong and tearing down bigger opponents. Looking to do so once more here tonight in Las Vegas. Guther a little bit dazed and Ricochet hits that tilt to world corkscrew he was looking for a few moments ago. Ricochet caught the attention of the number one contender. Guther wanted competition. Ricochet seemed like the ideal competition he was oh so hoping for and all roads lead to tonight. I remember what happened two weeks ago on SmackDown, Imperium falling to Ricochet, Johnny Gargano and Cody Rhodes in that big six-man tag team matchup. Even though Gunther was not pinned, you gotta believe the ring general was feeling a little bit stung from that loss. His momentum more on the side of Ricochet, but is Gunther just the resounding favorite no matter the competition he's in the ring with? You can ask this question, that question in the third. At the end of the day, it all comes down to the results that are produced in between the ropes. Ricochet has been producing results on SmackDown, but can he get it done where it matters most? Off the backslide, no avail. And Guther now, gotta find a way to slow down his opponent. Not allow Ricochet to soar through the skies like he already has multiple times in this match. Ricochet is smart, he knows that's what he's gotta do. Use his stylistic offense to outweigh Guther. And not allow that, not allow Guther just to ragdoll him down to the canvas. Gunther, look at that! That is what makes the ring general so dangerous. We have seen Gunther in deep waters in matches with Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre and still moving just like an absolute animal in there. Go back and watch the match with Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series. As voted by you, the fans, the 2023 match of the year. Gunther picked up the win on that night. It's because of maneuvers like that. Not afraid to throw anything that he has to do at his opponent to pick up victory. You may not like Guther's smug attitude, and sometimes you may just not like somebody so dominant. But at the end of the day, the ring general produces results, and you cannot argue with the facts. Ricochet is feeling the brunt of what has made Guther so dangerous. Week in, week out, month after month, on Friday Night SmackDown since December 2022, when he made a SmackDown debut. My goodness, overhand shot, heard round, Las Vegas, Nevada. Guther obviously with the champion's advantage on the outside of the ring, but Guther's a guy who goes for decisive victories. We know that about the ring general. He wants the victory to make a statement that he is better than you, and you are gonna know it by the time the bell rings again. And Ricochet getting that heart that we said is the size of Eagles torn out of him by hands of the cold, vile World Heavyweight Champion. Ricochet trying to spring, trying to come to life. 
Duther. Don't take this man lightly. Nice tilt to whirl that time. Going for the pump kick to no avail. Gunther now, once again, trying to ragdoll the number one contender down to size. Gunther knows that Ricochet is at his best when his feet are not on the ground. Gunther trying to keep Ricochet grounded tonight. Off the German. Gunther has controlled the majority of this matchup so far, but Ricochet's got a lot of life left in him. But how are you supposed to take down an opponent who you can't even jump like that? Ricochet likes to utilize that forearm. Gunther has rejected it multiple times in this match. Again, the champion, full head of steam, went to the well too many times, looking to break the rib cage of Ricochet. Springboard, moonsault. Let's see if Ricochet can mount some offense. Much needed here. Could it be a fairy tale dream coming to life tonight? Double springboards, but Guther got the knees up. And a big boot for good measures. Guther, a man who will absolutely take pride in crushing your soul. Ricochet just trying to do anything he can to get back in this match. Guther got the knees up, didn't really take advantage. Ricochet, however, coming alive. Nice Pele kick. And the shooting star into the cover. New champion of the horizon. Not just yet, Guther kicks out. Ricochet has said that he looks up to the likes of guys like Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. Two men who have been WWE and World Heavyweight Champion in their careers. Will Ricochet follow in their footsteps tonight? As we mentioned, he may not be the biggest dog in the fight, but he certainly has the heart the will, and the desire to win. Ricochet just trying to find the right tactic to keep down Guther. It's certainly hard when Guther's got a little bit of speed and agility in his arsenal as well to catch up to the champion. My goodness. Savat so kick right to the jaw, and Ricochet with another. Well, I don't care who you are. You can't see straight, you're not dizzy, you ain't gonna be able to fight. Ricochet may be resorting to that. Into the corner this time, cutting them in half. And the future of flight. Springboard. Ricochet is starting to strut his stuff in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Guther rolling to the outside, trying to stop Ricochet's momentum from reaching a peak. But Ricochet not gonna allow Guther to get his way discus forearm we could be looking at a new world champion tonight it could be 21 and 2 for the ring general Luther down ricochet scaling the ropes what is the one and only got in mind here here he comes missile drop kick shot out like a cannon we said it before, we'll say it again. Ricochet is at his best when his feet are not on the ground. Soaring through the skies is the future of flight at his very best. And there he goes again. Making a dose off the missiles. But Guther still on a knee. Man, how do you keep down the ring general who will just keep fighting? Ricochet's throwing everything he's got at Guther. And the world champion's down in an opportune state. Shooting star! New world champion on the horizon. Here we go. No, Guther kicks out. How close was that? The missile drop kicks. Ricochet with the running senton. The shooting star press. I thought we had a new world heavyweight champion. Guther says otherwise, and this living, breathing, Animal is coming alive. Ricochet hung up with the snake guys. What more of a fitting city than Las Vegas, Nevada? And Guther looking to go all in. Ricochet's momentum just got stopped at a screeching halt by way of the champion. And all know Guther power bomb. 
And there may be no getting up from that. The exclamation point on this match, Gunther retains the World Heavyweight title. Ricochet fought to the very end. He gave it his darndest, but the championship remains with the dominating Ring General. And still, World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther. Gunther continues his dominance continues to spread his presence throughout Friday Night Smackdown. He has put Drew McIntyre aside. He's put Edge aside. He now adds Ricochet to that list in his world. Wait a minute! Brock Lesnar! The Beast Incarnate, who defeated Edge earlier tonight, is in the ring! And F5 to the World Heavyweight Champion! We talked about it earlier tonight. Lesnar was looking to use that victory over Edge to put him in line for a shot at a title, and he may have turned his sights to SmackDown's Drake General. Guther's trying to fight back. How does he still got life? But Lesnar trying to bring him down to size. A second F5. Game, set, match point. Brock Lesnar is coming for Guther's World Heavyweight Championship. Well, it has been a noteworthy night here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Moments ago, Brock Lesnar picking his choice to challenge Guther in the near future for the World Heavyweight Championship. But coming up next, we turn our focus to Monday Night Raw as the WWE Championship is on the line in a triple threat matchup. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, and the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. In the heart of the chaos, where battles are waged and destinies are defined, the stage is set for an electrifying showdown. This story began back in October, when Bobby Lashley earned his right to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. But fate had other plans, battle wounds from a war with Brock Lesnar, compounded with an ambush from Solo Sokoa, left Lashley sidelined and unable to seize his opportunity. Solo Sokoa's motives were clear. He wanted next at the WWE title. Rollins, the champion, successfully defended his gold against Tommaso Ciampa at Survivor Series and withstood the brutality of hell in a cell at Armageddon against five other Raw superstars. Just as Rollins looked to coast into the new year, an almighty force re-emerged. Lashley, the almighty himself, struck Solo Sokoa with an emphatic spear last month, returning to Raw with two goals in mind, to seek retribution against the street champ and finally get his long-awaited title bout against the visionary. Solo Sokoa's ambition to become a champion propelled him to victory over Lashley on Christmas night, earning him a spot in the WWE title equation. Now, a triple threat match looms on the horizon. Seth Rollins once again finds himself at a disadvantage as two hungry heavyweights await a date with destiny. In the heart of Sin City, these Raw superstars are ready to go all in, trying to leave with the ultimate prize, the WWE Championship. It is certainly a big fight feel here in Sin City as the WWE Championship is on the line in a triple threat match where anything and everything can happen. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. 
Bobby Lashley has been waiting for this day since Clash at the Castle in October when he obtained number one contendership for the WWE Championship. And as we've been talking about for weeks and as you just saw in the video package, the war with Brock Lesnar, plus the attack from Solo Sokoa 24 hours later, most importantly, leaving Lashley on the shelf with fractured ribs. But Lashley is back, and he is back with a vengeance, with two things in mind, to obtain that retribution over Solo Sokoa and to take away Seth Rollins' WWE Championship. In the midst of this triple threat matchup tonight, the Almighty's got a chance to kill two birds with one stone here in Sin City. And introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Solo Sokoa has been after the WWE Championship for months and is seemingly not taking no for an answer. When he entered the Deadly Games Eliminator that was assigned after Lashley had those fractured ribs a couple of months ago, Solo came up short. Solo found himself as one of six men in Armageddon at the Hell in the Cell match last month and unfortunately came up short as well. I'll bite was not the one pinned in that match. But Solo, defeating Sheamus a couple of weeks ago, add up the victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley. And whether you like his actions or not, the street champ has certainly earned his way to the Royal Rumble. One challenger wasn't enough, add another, and Seth Rollins certainly has the stack against him tonight, the odds stacked against him tonight here in T-Mobile Arena. But whether you like Seth Rollins or not, he has found a way to win month in and month out. Whether it's been a last man standing matchup, whether it's been hell in the cell, now he finds himself in a triple threat. Will Rollins once again find a way to survive? The WWE Championship hangs in the balance. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! You know, because of that Hell in the Cell match last month, Rollins really does have a claim to say he has beaten pretty much the best of them on Monday Night Raw. A select few that have not been in the running for the WWE Championship that Rollins still has yet to contest, but Lashley stepping up tonight, Solo with another opportunity. If Rollins picks up the win here, we may be looking at the greatest run of Seth Rollins' career thus far. Nonetheless, Seth Rollins walked into last year's WrestleMania, a part of SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion. Rollins now a part of Monday Night Raw and looking to start his road to WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. Will he succeed? Will he retain that prestigious gold? That is the question that is at hand. The almighty Bobby Lashley back him better than ever. The enforcer Solo Sokoa basically demanding a spot in this matchup after those emphatic victories on Raw. The odds stacked against Rollin, but it all comes down to this. The bell has sounded and we are underway. The WWE Championship is on the line and Solo Sokoa looking to come out strong early. Very interesting situation here. It's been well documented over the years. We're not breaking any ground. But Seth Rollins does not have to be pinned or submitted in this equation to lose his WWE Championship. On the flip side of that coin, there's also an advantage or possibly maybe even disadvantage depending on how you look at it. No countouts, no disqualifications. Triple threat means anything goes. We need a pinfall or submission inside of the ring to gain a finish here tonight. And look at Rollins on the outside. We're just getting underway, but speaking of those no disqualification stipulations, Rollins setting up a table mere seconds into this matchup. Solo and Lashley picking up right where they left off this past Monday night in that six-man tag team match where Lashley was successful alongside Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Should be very interesting to see how this plays out tonight. And we talked about it over the last few weeks that Bobby Lashley may have been letting his anger and frustration and his quench for retribution over Solo Sokoa blind his pursuit of the WWE Championship. And that may have just helped Solo Sokoa get what he wanted, making his way to another title matchup here tonight. 
Lashley's got to remain focused on the goal. Winning the WWE Championship in the midst of this triple threat matchup will surely be enough to pay back Solo Sokoa for those months that he was on the shelf. But I'm sure Lashley, especially after the singles loss on Christmas night in Edmonton, Alberta a couple of weeks ago, is looking to do just a little bit more damage to the enforcer. That is what Lashley's got to be careful of, and Solo Sokoa once again Trying to gain control of the ring. The WWE Champion Seth Rollins is really caught in the middle of these two men who are just trying to tear each other apart here in Las Vegas. And Lashley with a backdrop. And I'll tell you what, Seth Rollins, a lot of advantages and disadvantages depending on how you look at this matchup. But one thing that Rollins may have going for him tonight is the issues between Lashley and Solo. Those two men may be so blinded by their hatred for each other that Rollins may find a window of opportunity to sneak in there and obtain, or I should say retain, his WWE Championship. All oh, remains to be seen as Solo Sokoa on the outside. Lashley gonna turn his sights to the man he was originally supposed to face one-on-one -on -one here tonight, and that is Seth freaking Rollins who lays him out with the swing blade. The WWE Champion. Won that gold back at SummerSlam, cashing in money in the bank that he won the previous month. Since then, he has retained the gold and unforgiven against Sheamus. Clash at the castle once more against the Celtic Warrior in a last man standing match. Took down Tommaso Ciampa in Madison Square Garden back in November at Hell in a Cell last month. Lashley with the Dominator on Solo, but Rollins obviously still up and active in the ring. Not gonna get a three count just yet. Now Lashley taken to the outside, not by will, but by force of the WWE Champion who goes over the top rope. Rollins knows he's going to have to push the pace a little bit in this matchup, throw Lashley and Solo off their games, and try to find a window of opportunity to retain his title. Rollins maybe just trying to divide and conquer in this matchup. Take one opponent out, focus on the other. Really goes for... All three sides of the ring just remains to be seen who's going to get the momentum in this matchup. And certainly, in triple threat matches like this, it is very hard to keep sustained momentum. Once you think you got it going, you got the other opponent coming up from behind. You got to have to have eyes in the back of your head. In a triple threat matchup, something certainly easier said than done. Nonetheless, Lashley back in and slamming Solo Sokoa damn near through the canvas. Don't forget about that X Factor at ringside, that table that Seth Rollins set up in the early moments of this match. Rollins looking for said X Factor to play A Factor and him leaving Sin City with his championship. Maybe what Rollins is looking for to even the odds against these two challengers tonight on their quest for gold. You see the last number of minutes. Somebody goes to the outside, Rollins or Solo or Lashley, whatever it may be. The other two go at it. And then somebody's getting jumped from behind and the momentum swings in this matchup. That is what makes triple threats so difficult. And especially with the reward that is on hand tonight, the WWE title. The road to WrestleMania begins here at the Royal Rumble. And tonight is a chance for one of these men to start their road to WrestleMania as the champion of Monday Night Raw. We very well could see Seth Rollins, Solo Sokoa, or Bobby Lashley main eventing WrestleMania if they so make it there as the WWE Champion. All remains to be seen as Rollins, wait a minute, bringing that table back into the ring this time. As Solo continuing his fight on Bobby Lashley. I don't know what Solo's got in mind, better keep eyes in the back as Seth Rollins is right there with the Enforcer sending Rollins for a ride. And Solo with his eyes locked on the Almighty. Going for a Samoan spike, but Lashley had it scouted. Felt that spike not once, but twice on Christmas night. But now Lashley getting tied up and dropped right on the legs of that table. Lashley may have been familiar with Solo's offense there, but Rollins throwing him off his game. The WWE Champion trying to build some momentum in this title match. And Rollins again from behind with the swing blade on Lashley. Now Rollins going after Solo Sokoa. No love lost between those two men. They have teamed up a few months ago on Monday Night Raw. It really did not go well in the later days. That was right before Armageddon, and just six days later, they were beating the hell out of each other inside Hell in a Cell. 
Now they're back at it tonight with the same goal in mind as Bobby Lashley in the ring. Oh no, look at a send Seth Rollins for an amusement park ride. Monstrous belly to belly. And going into the cover, Solo trying to bring out another table, God knows why. And then realized that he almost lost this matchup. Bobby Lashley showcasing his strength moments ago. Something that the WWE Champion does not have in his favor against these two heavyweights. A solo Sokoa. Never want to get in a headbutt battle with a wild Samoan. Imagine if Solo Sokoa's pursuit of the WWE Championship can culminate at the start of 2024. The street champ could very well be going into his first WrestleMania holding the gold. All remains to be seen here tonight. Tonight is only the beginning of the road to WrestleMania. We got the Elimination Chamber coming up in three weeks. But now Lashley, overhand shot to Rollins and Solo. Savant kick right to the rib cage. And Rollins trying to go at Solo. Momentum is swinging all over this matchup right now. Who is going to get the last laugh, that last final blow in this triple threat match? Maybe it's going to be Rollins. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Seth. Pedigree on Solo Sokoa into the cover to retain the WWE title. Bobby Lashley saves it. Very well could have been the end of the line for the Enforcer's chances at the WWE Championship with the Almighty saving the gold all around in this match. And Rollins plants him. And now going for a cover. This could be it. But Lashley kicks out. Couple of near falls there. Rollins not able to retain his championship just yet. That is what Rollins has got to do. Bring the heavy heat to take out his two challengers. He does not want to be continued to be caught in between a rock and a hard place. The street champ Solo Sokoa, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Now Solo with that body slam. And now he's heading to the top rope. Could be looking for the Samoan splash. Maybe the headbutt. It's going to be the Samoan splash into the cover. Will Solo win the title? Rollins saves the day. Solo Sokoa out to win his first championship on Monday Night Raw. And it could be the biggest prize of them all in the WWE title. Not just yet, however, says the visionary. Now Rollins resetting up that table inside of the squared circle. Obviously, Seth has come into this matchup with plans to use the wood. Solo Sokoa trying to avoid it. Bobby Lashley trying to get his wits about him at ringside. I don't know what Seth's got in mind, but it cannot be good for these two heavyweights. Wait a minute, Solo Sokoa off the reversal. There's a takedown and Solo Sokoa getting jumped from behind by his arch rival and the almighty Bobby Lashley takes him down once more. Lashley's got to be chomping at the bit to try to eliminate Solo Sokoa from championship competition. Dominator once more. And Seth Rollins in from behind. Lashley not able even to attempt the count. But still the Dominator takes out Solo Sokoa momentarily. And Rollins turning his sights to that table that he introduced at the top of this matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Lashley on the table, springboard, moves soaked by the WWE Champion. Anything goes in triple threat rules, and Rollins using those rules to the fullest advantage. Las Vegas coming unglued here in T-Mobile Arena as Rollins once again takes out Solo Sokoa. But the almighty weary from behind, overhand shot, counter by the champion. Rollins goes behind. Stacking up the challenger, into the cover he goes. And Rollins sneaks away with the championship. The visionary once again finds a way to win. Whether it was last man standing at Clash at the Castle, Hell in a Cell at Armageddon, or the triple threat here tonight, Seth Rollins, like him or not, is at the top of his game and just found a way to defeat these two challengers to retain his W. WE Championship. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins!
Well, that is not going to sit well with the Almighty, who thought he was going to have a one-on-one -on -one match tonight, turn triple threat. But Seth Rollins taking fullest advantage of the rules, the table, then stacking up Lashley for the pinfall. Divide and conquer did he, the challengers, and Rollins is leaving Sin City with the gold. Well, the action isn't done yet here in Las Vegas, but coming up three weeks from tonight, we are heading to Miami, Florida, Lone Depot Park for the 2024 Elimination Chamber. And we have some breaking news regarding our trip to Miami in just three weeks. Earlier tonight, Brock Lesnar laying out Guther with two F5s, and we can already confirm that the first time ever meeting is on. Coming up on January the 28th, the ring general Guther will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. What a matchup coming your way in three weeks in Miami at the Elimination Chamber. But coming up next here in Las Vegas, it is the 2024 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. 15 men from Raw, 15 men from SmackDown. One golden opportunity to main event WrestleMania hangs in the balance. Who will be the one? Let's find out right now. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Who will be the one to main event WrestleMania? The time to find out is right here, right now, in T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. Introducing the participants. First, from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. And drawing the unfortunate number of number one to kick us off in the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Representing Monday Night Raw, Dominic Mysterio. Dominic was traded over to the Red Brand a couple of months ago in exchange for the Cruiserweight Classic winner, Ilya Dragunov, who took his talents to Friday Night SmackDown. Dominic Mysterio has been struggling a little bit on his own, trying to find his footing on the Red Brand. I don't want to speak for Dominic, but this could be the biggest opportunity of that young man's career. You want to talk about catapulting yourself to the top of this industry, going coast to coast in the middle of Sin City and winning the Royal Rumble match? I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Remains to be seen who Dominic will kick this matchup off with, but 28 more will follow until we have one last man standing inside of that squared circle. Oh, man. Well, look who drew number two. First Dominic for Raw, and now the father, Rey Mysterio from SmackDown. Things are already getting extra interesting as we kick off the 2024 Royal Rumble match. Introducing the individual who drew number two. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! Well, Dominic Mysterio has been struggling to find his footing since he was separated from his father, Rey, who still remains with his talents on Friday Night SmackDown. Rey Mysterio has won from this position before. He entered at number two in 2006, went all the way to WrestleMania to win the World Heavyweight title. 
Will history repeat itself? The bell has sounded. We are underway in the Royal Rumble match. And I'll tell you what, Mysterio and Dominic, this father-son duo, not afraid of some competition. You remember these two fought in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament back in August. Dominic Mysterio was the one picking up the victory on that night. Well, here we go. The hits are gonna keep on coming. Who is gonna join this father-son duo in the Royal Rumble match? Oh, man. Well, we got two cruiserweights in here. And now here comes the Nigerian giant, Omos from Friday Night Smackdown. Coming in at number three, and I don't even know if Rey Mysterio realizes who is standing behind him inside the squared circle right now. Well, Dominic and Rey, they better not let their competition between the two get in the way of the other matter that's at hand. They better turn their sights to the big man, Omos. As Dominic does right there, huge springboard, crossbody Mysterio. I think he might have been going for Omos, but he hit Dominic. Oh, man. We're going to do our best to keep up with the action, folks. This is the Royal Rumble matchup, and coming in at number four is Cedric Alexander from Monday Night Raw. Alexander... Tomorrow night is going to be a part of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Alongside his Carolina boy and Cameron Grimes, they will take on Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. But tonight, a whole different matter and a whole different opportunity. Cedric Alexander making the most of the opportunity. He's sending Omos to the showers. Your first elimination of the contest. Oh, and there goes your second. Cedric Alexander making some noise. Johnny Gargano enters the ring at number five, and Cedric Alexander did not come to Mitt's words tonight. Omos eliminated. Dominic Mysterio eliminated by Cedric Alexander. The former number one contender, a man who was chasing the Intercontinental Championship for months on Monday Night Raw, trying to find a new leash on life in 2024. Man, what an exciting rumble. We're only now six entrants in as Alpha Academy's Chad Gable makes his way down the aisle. Some great talent in there right now. Chad Gable, Johnny Gargano, and Rey Mysterio from Friday night. Cedric Alexander representing the red brand. Regardless of the brands, however, every man for himself in the Royal Rumble matchup. You'll see strange alliances be formed at times, but at the end of the day, you got to keep your head on a swivel. At any chance, a superstar could come from behind and toss you over the top rope and end your night not in the best of ways. And here we go at number seven from Raw. It's going to be the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. Some incredible talent inside of that ring right now. And dare I say some talent such as Gargano and Tyler Bate, Cedric. Guys that have been just the cups of breaking out over the last few months. have gotten championship opportunities, have been at main events, and just haven't been able to take down the proverbial brass ring. Maybe tonight is the night for some of these superstars. Now look at Chad Gable as well, such an all-around athlete. Maybe tonight he's gonna use that core strength that he has to try to throw out some superstars and win this thing. And at number eight is going to be the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, who I'm sure cannot be in a good mood after coming up short to Ilya Dragunov, 48 hours on SmackDown. Cruiserweight title is on the line in Portland, Oregon, 48 hours ago. McDonough came up short. Now a new opportunity on the horizons tonight. Chad Gable, Johnny Gargano, those two SmackDown stars going at it. Tyler Bate with a big Saito and McDonough moments ago. Let's see who's going to join the fray at entrance number nine. It is going to be Rawls, Apollo Crews. Another man who's just been itching to break out in the red brand. It's going to be a very interesting Royal Rumble tonight. Some superstars who are just waiting for that opportunity. Will they be able to make the most of it? In Las Vegas, Nevada, maybe the bet and the most important one is going to be on one of these underdogs. Oh, wait a minute. There goes Bane. Johnny Organo sending the big strong boy back to the locker room. Unfortunately, tonight will not be the night for Tyler Bate. And at number 10, it's going to be Nathan Frazier from Friday Night SmackDown. Some great cruiserweight talent joining us so far as Gargano, as well as J.D. McDonough, on the cusp of being eliminated. Gargano able to hold on. Looks like J.D. McDonough's fighting his way out. 
having his back up against the wall against the much larger, stronger competitor, Apollo Crews. There's Nathan Fraser, another man who was recently challenged for the Cruiserweight Championship back in December. So we'd love to get an opp another opportunity. Ilya drag it off. And all that talk about the Cruiserweight Championship, Apollo Crews sidestepping the former number one contender. J.D. McDonough is out of here. And at number 11, a newcomer to the red brand, Joe Gacy, who has been on a tear since making his Raw debut back at the Slammy Awards. Gacy has taken issue with Sami Zayn as well as Kevin Owens. Or really, you could say Owens and Zayn are the ones taking issues with Joe Gacy. Gacy, alongside his loose partnership with Karrion Cross, those two men have been really trying to use Owens and Zayn as stepping stones on the red brand. We Joe Gacy, upon just a few weeks removed from his Raw debut, is going to have a breakout performance tonight in the Rumble. All remains to be seen. Gacy coming in at number 11. Tenth of the field has already been revealed. There's still a lot more superstars to march their way down the aisle. Great talent in the ring right now. Who's going to be joining them at number 12? Cameron Grimes' tag team partner, or I should say Cedric Alexander's tag team partner in the Dusty Classic. It is Cameron Grimes. Those two men team up tomorrow against Pretty Deadly in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Maybe we'll see those two Carolina brethren team up in the midst of this matchup, or maybe not. Cameron Grimes showing that it's every man for himself. Hey, an opportunity strikes to possibly take out one of your opponents in the Royal Rumble matchup. Can't knock anybody for doing it. This is kind of the one night a year where all bets are off, friendships go out the window, and it's all about the opportunity that hangs in the balance. Ray Mysterio almost eliminated by Johnny Gargano. Joe Gacy with his eyes locked on Cameron Grimes is creating some separation right there. A couple of Monday Night Raw stars, a couple of SmackDown stars, a contrast field in there at the moment. It's Apollo Crews almost eliminated by the young Nathan Frazier. Frazier holding on. This is the dangers when this ring starts to get so filled up. You, there's no way you could possibly watch your back, have those eyes in the back of your head. At any point, somebody's trying to jump you from behind and toss you out of here. With Cedric Alexander laying out Cameron Grimes. I'm sure they had a conversation before this matchup. Friends tomorrow, opponents tonight. Gacy laying out Gargano. Cedric with that Spanish fly on cable. Man, there is so much action to keep up with in the midst of this Royal Rumble. This is what the Rumble's all about. Non-stop action until we hear a final bell. Johnny Gargano continuing his onslaught in this matchup. That's another elimination as he sends Apollo Crews to the back. 11 superstar, 12 superstars I believe have entered so far. Cameron Grimes is your last entrant as we wait. Number 13 in mere moments. Johnny Gargano, couple of eliminations so far. Cedric Alexander started off hot, eliminating the Nigerian Giant Omos as well as Dominic Mysterio, who came in at number one. All remains to be seen who is gonna continue to fill out this field and who will be the last man standing. And look at this, what a maneuver by Grimes! Well, Cameron Grimes may be on Monday Night Raw, and I'm not sure if he fits the weight class, but he would be a great addition to the Cruiserweight division on SmackDown. And a little double team action on Chad Gable. There's the countdown. Who is going to join us at number 13 in the 2024 Royal Rumble match? It is going to be Grayson Waller. And just as we get a new entrant, an old one hits the showers. Rey Mysterio eliminating Cedric Alexander, but man, nothing to be ashamed of. Alexander came to play tonight in the Royal Rumble. The Aussie icon from SmackDown, Grayson Waller joining us. Grayson Waller's had a bit of a lukewarm reception. This crowd not too fond of the Aussie icon since making a SmackDown debut, but quite frankly, I don't think Grayson Waller cares. Him as well as his recent running buddy in Austin Theory, both in this Royal Rumble matchup tonight. I'm sure they'd love for it to come down to Waller and Theory. Probably both jump over the top rope at the same time or declare themselves co-winners or something. As Cameron Grimes out of here. Has been eliminated. Cedric Alexander goes and so does his tag team partner in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Joe Gacy eliminating Grimes. We'll see Grimes and 
Cedric back in the ring tomorrow against Pretty Deadly. See, survey the field. We got Rey Mysterio who came in at number two. Grayson Waller, Nathan Frazier, Chad Gable, Joe Gacy, Johnny Gargano, and now at number 14 from Monday Night Raw, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Business gonna pick up there. Oh, look at Nathan Frazier skinning the cat, holding on for dear life. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus came in hot. It was laid out by Joe Gacy, and now Gacy turned his sights to the whole shebang, and it's gonna work out for him. Johnny Gargano has been eliminated. Joe Gacy on a tear on Monday Night Raw, and now bringing that tear to the Royal Rumble. And here comes the Cruiserweight Champion, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Number 15, we are at the halfway point in the Royal Rumble matchup and the Cruiserweight Champion here to make his presence felt. Meanwhile, you got Sheamus teetering with Joe Gacy in the corner. That's a heavyweight collision I would love to see in the near future on Raw. We are halfway through the Royal Rumble already. 15 men have been revealed, 15 more to march their way down the aisle here in T-Mobile Arena. I'll get a load of Rey Mysterio. I think is looking to bring Grayson Waller on a trip. A little three amigos in the middle of Las Vegas, Nevada. Dragunov laying out Frazier with that knee. The fight continues as always. And speaking of a fight, here's a man who loves a good one. Number 16 is the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa from Monday Night Raw. And the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, going at Ciampa. Had a couple of opportunities with the WWE Championship in recent months. Champ has been taking it easy on Monday nights, nursing some injuries from first the matchup with Seth Rollins at Survivor Series, and more stacking up in Hell in the Cell at Armageddon. The Champa back here tonight, feeling fresh, feeling 100%. Let's see how he will fare in the Royal Rumble match. Look at the strength by Gable right there. You gotta have eyeballs in the back of your head as the action continues. One minute you're throwing haymakers at the opponent in front of you, the next you're getting the haymaker to the back of your skull. And I don't know if you caught it in the far left, but Joe Gacy just laid out Sheamus with a low blow. And I hate to say it, but anything goes in the Royal Rumble. That's as fair as fair can be in this style of matchup. Once again, the ring's starting to fill up with bodies from Raw, bodies from SmackDown, and a diverse cast at that. The Cruiserweight Champion and Ilya Dragunov. Up and comers in Nathan Fraser, Grayson Waller, Joe Gacy. Established veterans like Sheamus and Rey Mysterio. Tommaso Ciampa, who's been on the cusp of greatness as of late. As Sheamus eliminating the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller. Big time elimination there for the Celtic Warrior. We'd be on the, maybe on the verge of a couple of more eliminations as Tommaso Ciampa trying to get Sheamus out of here. Rey Mysterio. Escaping fate from Gable moments ago. Gable holding on and Dragunov can all eliminate him. Has been eliminated. Rey Mysterio did the dirty work, unable to finish. Chad Gable, however, knocked off the ropes by the Cruiserweight Champion. Great performance by Master Gable of Alpha Academy. Came in early and lasted all the way to the halfway point. Unfortunately, his night ends at a screeching halt. We're down to seven men in the ring right now. Excuse me, six men in the ring right now. Let's get that count right. Make, I'll make that five. Nathan Fraser eliminated by the man who entered at number two, Rey Mysterio. And here comes Rey Mysterio's recent running buddy and Santos Escobar. Those two men had an incredible feud in the first half of 2023 and it developed into a great friendship between Escobar and Rey. Now they find themselves in the middle of the Royal Rumble matchup. If there's one thing we know about Escobar and Mysterio, they are not afraid in the spirit of competition to go right back to where they were last year. And that's throwing a couple of rights and lefts with each other. And there goes Ciampa. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus with another elimination. Tommaso Ciampa's night ending earlier than expected. And at number 18, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And Nakamura immediately introduced. Welcome to the Rumble. Shinsuke Nakamura getting dropped by Santos Escobar, and Escobar getting dropped by Mysterio. There's an interesting situation right there. The Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov, 
The man he defeated for that gold back at Survivor Series in November, Santos Escobar. Reigniting that matchup here tonight. And speaking of champions at number 19, the United States champion, AJ Styles, who 48 hours ago retained his title against who? The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. Mysterio has had his recent run-ins with AJ as well, and now the United States champion, AJ Styles, back into the Royal Rumble tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura, former Royal Rumble match winner, Mysterio, former one, Sheamus as well. A couple of men looking to go for a two-peat tonight. Oh, wait a minute! At number 20, for the first time since July, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, is in the Royal Rumble match. Well, Monday Night Raw's monster and Braun Strowman has been on the shelf nursing injuries since July. Tonight, unexpectedly, the monster of the monsters is back. And Braun wreaking havoc, sending Mysterio for a ride, getting Dragon off off his back. Down goes the Cruiserweight Champion. Braun Strowman like a freight train coming into this Royal Rumble matchup, and business has certainly picked up in the middle of the squared circle. I would not want to be in the way of the monster tonight. And that may be the only way to keep him down, attack him from behind and gang up on Braun Strowman. I had no idea Braun was even in T-Mobile Arena tonight. He has not been seen since I believe the 4th of July edition of Monday Night Raw last summer. Strowman's been on the shelf ever since, but the monster is back here tonight. But he may be ending his night early. As look at this, Joe Gacy and Sheamus teetering Braun over the top rope. Oh, but Braun's feeling good. Braun is feeling fresh. Getting the two men off of him here, and the fight's gonna continue inside the ring. And so much action to keep up with. AJ Styles, the United States Champion in there, the Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Some top stars from Raw and Sheamus, Nakamura. The returning Braun Strowman. This is what the Royal Rumble is all about. And still multiple men to come to see who is going to go to WrestleMania and challenge for a championship of their choosing in the main event. Sheamus is just trying to unload on Braun. He knows he has become the biggest target inside the squared circle, and the Celtic Warrior is trying to get rid of that monster. Oh, and Ilya Dragunov gone. Santos Escobar eliminating the man who took away the Cruiserweight Championship from him back at Survivor Series in the Garden in November. Escobar ending the night of the man Dragon Ilya Dragunov. Nothing to be ashamed of there, Dragunov. And you know, you could say the same thing about J.D. McDonough, Santos Escobar, A.J. Styles, all involved in physical championship matches 48 hours ago on SmackDown. Gotta wonder if they're feeling 100% coming into this thing. McDonough and Dragunov out of here. Styles and Escobar still in. Sheamus eliminated moments ago in the midst of all that discussion. And right now we are down to six inside of the ring. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown. Mysterio trying to bring that tally to five, trying to get even with a man who is taking him down with the OC numbers in recent memory, that being the US champ AJ Styles. And who is gonna enter the field next? It is gonna be Monday Night Raw's Carmelo Hayes, who just six nights ago went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a stellar performance against the rated R superstar Edge. Came up short, but certainly a performance that we are gonna talk about for years to come. Imagine if Carmelo Hayes can break through tonight and win the Royal Rumble matchup. What that could do for that young man's career. Former NXT North American champion, former Cruiserweight champion himself, and Mysterio eliminates Nakamura. And who is gonna join the fray at number 22? It is meaner than evil, Braun Breaker from Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Wait a minute. J.D. McDonough attacking the Cruiserweight Champion Ilya Dragunov backstage. McDonough's already been eliminated. Dragunov eliminated moments ago. And these two men who just had the fight of their lives on SmackDown this past Friday. McDonough not satisfied in these recent losses. 
Now, this is absolutely ridiculous. All focus on the Royal Rumble matchup. The locker room nearly cleared out, and nobody to come to the aid of the Cruiserweight Champion at the moment. Well, that is ridiculous. A heinous act by the Irish Ace that just follows suit of his recent actions on Friday Night SmackDown. And you hate to see it. Hopefully, we can get an update on Dragunov, but we got to focus on the action at hand because there's a lot to keep up with. The Royal Rumble rolls on nonetheless. And who is going to come in at entrance number 23 it is. And it is Monday Night Raw's Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn alongside Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley with a big six-man tag team victory this past Monday night. But Sami still with a score to settle with Joe Gacy, who is currently inside the ring. Of course, that backstage altercation really taking the eye off the ball moments ago. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Rey Mysterio going by Sami Zayn. Joe Gacy turning his sights to the man he defeated in his debut. But Sammy, send it out Joe Gacy and that's gotta feel good. Sammy fell to Gacy the night of his debut. The post-match beatdown that Sammy's been trying to get retribution for. Well, there you go. Sami Zayn coming in the house of fire, sending Rey Mysterio who started this matchup to the back and getting rid of Joe Gacy. As we are about to mention, Ron Breaker coming in before the backstage altercation. The meaner than evil man himself looking to have his breakout performance here in the Royal Rumble. Breaker made a SmackDown debut last spring and has had a couple of championship opportunities, but you've seen them pass him by. Maybe tonight is the night Breaker grabs another one. Maybe the charm will be in the air at WrestleMania. All remains to be seen is Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn, Santos Escobar, AJ Styles in the ring, and they are now joined by the Intercontinental Champion from Raw, L.A. Knight. And Sami Zayn, a man who has had his eyes on L.A. Knight in the Intercontinental Championship over the last few months, has been chomping at the bit to get another opportunity. I'm sure he's gonna have eyes in the back of his head now that the champion has entered the room. Look at Braun Breaker, he's got that dog in him. Taking down the United States Champion. Breaker unloaded on everybody in the ring right now. Sami Zayn, as we mentioned, going after the IC champ, the Defiant LA Knight. Oh, things may have gone from bad to worse for everybody inside of the ring. Number 25, the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross. And there goes Santos. I believe that was Braun Strowman. I caught it at the last second. Braun Strowman eliminating Santos Escobar from this match. Karrion Cross coming in. Another man who tangled with Sami Zayn on Raw this past week. And came up short in the six-man tag. See, the Intercontinental Champion, the United States Champion, could be a dangerous duo in this matchup if they decide to put their differences aside. And hold that thought because Braun Strowman is out of here. Great return performance for the Phenomenal One. Or for the Phenomenal One. For the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. But he's eliminated by the Phenomenal One in AJ Styles. Man, that is how quick the landscape of this matchup can change. In a matter of moments, Braun Strowman eliminates Santos Escobar. Then AJ Styles eliminates Braun Strowman. And it's a completely different landscape inside of the ring. We got six superstars in right now. Who is going to join the fray up next? It is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. From Friday Night SmackDown, entering at number 26, the former United States Champion, going after the man who took away that gold back in November. Or at least tried to as Cody Rhodes, well, there you go. Moon Salt lays out AJ. Cody is also tangled with Braun Breaker. A couple of times back in the far, some unfinished business there. Cody Rose may be one of the odds on favorite amongst the WWE Universe to win this thing tonight. Maybe the American Nightmare is going to have his day in the sun here at the Royal Rumble. Or maybe it's going to be this man at number 27, the 2023 King of the Ring winner, former WWE Champion, Austin Theory. 
Theory has had some bad luck as of late on SmackDown alongside his running buddy Grayson Waller who has already hit the showers. Theory trying to turn his luck around here tonight in Sin City. And look at the talent that is in the ring right now. Main event stars, stars that are on the cups of the main event. Austin Theory, Carmelo Hayes, Sami Zayn, AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, LA Knight, Karrion Cross, Cody Rhodes. Man, any one of these men can main event WrestleMania. We still have three entrants to come. Who is gonna walk down the aisle, join the party, and possibly main event WrestleMania? And this is what the Rumble's all about. Rivalries being reignited, matchups that you never thought you'd see. A collision between the brands. Carmelo Hayes, who I would bet is gonna have a huge 2024, especially after that performance against Edge on Monday Night Raw. Going after the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. And I don't know who it was, but somebody just threw out Braun Breaker. I believe it was the United States Champion, AJ Styles. But Braun Breaker, we said all the time about Carmelo Hayes, same goes for Breaker. Gonna be a main event star one day, but looks like tonight, not gonna be the night. Styles trying to eliminate the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. Will that be the case? Sami Zayn holding on on the outside of the ring. Austin Theory charging Melo! Austin Theory has been eliminated. Austin Theory going for an amusement park ride. Melo pulling down the top rope, an old trick in the hat, and eliminating Austin Theory. In a matter of seconds, we are down to six when we had eight, and still three to come. Numbers on numbers on numbers. That's the Royal Rumble for you. Who is going to be entrance number 28? Oh man, business has picked up the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. One year ago at this event, Randy Orton was retaining his WWE Championship. Tonight, a part of SmackDown, he looks to bounce back after some huge recent losses and win the Royal Rumble match. Randy Orton fell to Ricochet a couple of times in December, and you saw where that led Ricochet, an opportunity to become world champion earlier tonight. That could have been Orton's spot had he not come up short. He's gonna enter number 29 in his Monday Night Raw's prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Enters the match as his best friend Sami Zayn is also in the fray. Gotta wonder how that will fare as we get their deep waters. And so much great talent inside of that ring right now. Sami Zayn trying to eliminate the Intercontinental Champion and LA Knight in the far corner. Kevin Owens in there with Karrion Cross. There is some huge unfinished business between those two superstars. And Kevin Owens taking out not only the Intercontinental Champion, but also the Harbinger of Doom. Owens trying to eliminate Cross. Oh, he almost did, but Cross holding on. Oh, but there it goes. Kevin Owens' best friend. Well, Owens in, and unfortunately, Zayn out. The United States Champion AJ Styles with yet another big elimination. Monday Night Raw's Sami Zayn is heading to the showers. We still have one more superstar to go, but any one of these men in the ring could easily be main eventing WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes, he's got Carmelo Hayes, and there he goes. Melo gone, leaving us with six superstars inside of the ring. Karrion Cross eliminating Styles. AJ Styles has been eliminated. Bodies are starting to fly left and right in the Royal Rumble matchup. As we get down to the 11th hour, who is going to be the last man standing? Karrion Cross barely holding on. Kevin Owens, Cody Rhodes, LA Knight, Randy Orton. Oh, there goes Cross. And one more to go. Who is it going to be? It is the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. The final entry. There are no more. It is number 30, and it is Drew McIntyre, the Superstar of the Year in 2023. Former World Heavyweight Champion who returned to SmackDown a few weeks ago and has been hell-bent on getting back the big gold belt. McIntyre. 
coming in at the very end. And we are down to five, ladies and gentlemen. In the Royal Rumble match, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Man, what a stacked field in the late rounds of this Rumble matchup. One of these men will main event WrestleMania. I'll tell you what, any way you spin it, it's going to be a huge main event come AT&T Stadium in Dallas. Cody Rhodes and McIntyre, two of the faces of Friday nights, mixing it up for the first time in a long time. Cody dropping McIntyre with that vertebraker. Man, just imagine if McIntyre could win this matchup. Go back to the big dance. Cody Rhodes winning his first Royal Rumble matchup, possibly challenging the man he defeated. He landed, or I should say handed, not landed, handed the one and only victory in his SmackDown record, Gunther once more. What about the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, who fought that very man, Drew McIntyre, tooth and nail several times last year, but was ultimately unable to win the world title. McIntyre's got his hands on the Apex Predator. And Drew with Randy Orton in the air. The Viper in near distance of being eliminated. And there he goes. Randy Orton, has been eliminated. Randy Orton has unfortunately gotten his night spoiled once more by Drew McIntyre. But McIntyre getting dropped with a Tiger Driver by Cody. Man, this is what the Rumble's all about. All stars in the final few moments. Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, Kevin Owens skin Kevin Owens skin in the cat. Almost eliminated that time of the American Nightmare. Pulling a Shawn Michaels. Who is gonna have the horseshoe tonight? Who is gonna be the lucky man here in Las Vegas? We are down to four, ladies and gentlemen. Two men from Raw, two men from SmackDown, Crossroads! Intercontinental Champion goes down by hands of the American Nightmare. No elimination, but certainly casualties inside of the ring. And so many noteworthy events coming out of this Royal Rumble matchup alone. The return of Braun Strowman, JD McDonough, Ilya Dragunov, obviously unfinished business there. Seeing a lot of the superstars up tomorrow like Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Grayson Waller, Austin Theory making their presence felt. And Kevin Owens trying to make LA Knight's night end for the Intercontinental Champion holding on. That very well could have been an elimination. I don't think McIntyre knew Owens had LA Knight on the brink of elimination or else he probably would have let him go. Nonetheless, the fight continues in this final four. And I'll tell you what, McIntyre coming in late, as did Owens. But no matter the number, we're starting to get into some deep waters for every man in this matchup. Fatigue is going to start to set in. And you know, one thing we have talked about throughout the years is even in these multi-man matches, fatigue adds up way earlier than a one-on-one -on -one affair. And you got to have your head in a swivel when there's so many moving parts. The endurance is just going down faster than usual. In a Royal Rumble matchup, which is just a high-stress situation, these men have got to be feeling it in there with some of their fellow warriors in the main event scene. Intercontinental champion LA Knight swinging a neck breaker on Cody Rhodes. Owens and McIntyre going at it. And there's a couple of one-on-one -on -one matches between Raw and SmackDown superstars that I would love to see in the near future as LA Knight may be on the verge of eliminating the American Nightmare, not just yet. Knight taking down Kevin Owens as well. McIntyre from behind. You now McIntyre and LA Knight had some issues on SmackDown dating back to last year at this time. Reigniting those issues, if you will, here tonight in the Royal Rumble. Mega star could be seeing his name in life, but not if McIntyre has anything to say about it. Overhead throw as Kevin Owens takes down Cody Rhodes. And what do you think is going through the mind of the WWE Champion Seth Rollins, the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther, as they're watching these superstars fight tooth and nail just to get the opportunity to fight for a title? If these men are willing to put themselves through hell tonight in the midst of the Royal Rumble match, imagine what they'd be willing to do at the grandest stage of them all! 
McIntyre dropping Kevin Owens with a mean Claymore kick that landed right on the button. Owens is laid out. McIntyre as well. Cody Rhodes has got LA Knight pinned into the corner. Is the megastar on his way out of here? I don't know, man. LA Knight trying to hold on. McIntyre turning his sights to Kevin Owens once more. He knows he's got Kevin Owens weakened after that Claymore kick. And now McIntyre with some icing on the cake. Future Shock DDT. Kevin Owens may be out cold. He may be the one man out of the four right now. Maybe easiest to throw over the top. Never want to speak soon enough as LA Knight somehow able to survive. Cody Rhodes moments ago. Can he get through Drew McIntyre? McIntyre, you saw, once again was about to turn his sights to Kevin Owens. Wonder if McIntyre finds Owens, Owens excuse me, as one of the biggest threats in here. Wait a minute! Cody's gone! Has LA Knight's gone! LA Knight has been eliminated. We are down to two in a matter of seconds! And this is where men become legends. Drew McIntyre eliminating Cody Rhodes. Kevin Owens eliminating the Intercontinental Champion. We are down to two men. Entrance number 29 and entrance number 30. Monday Night Rolls, Kevin Owens. Friday Night Smackdowns, Drew McIntyre. One of these men are going to WrestleMania. One of these men are main eventing the grandest stage of them all. Will it be the prize fighter? Will it be the Scottish warrior? Kevin Owens coming unglued. McIntyre's been on Owens' tail the last few minutes. And Kevin Owens trying to dish it right back to him. Man, a crazy turn of events in just matters of seconds. McIntyre tossed Cody. Rhodes is out of here. LA Knight eliminated by Kevin Owens. And now Owens and McIntyre scratching and clawing to lay each other out and win this thing as Owens may be getting the last laugh. Spin out. Dropping McIntyre on the canvas. Oh, McIntyre still stirring, but a pop-up powerbomb. And we may have a weakened warrior on our tail. Owens sending McIntyre over the top, but he holds on. And there he goes. Kevin Owens wins the Royal Rumble match. In just a matter of a few moments, the landscape of the Rumble changed. Cody went. LA Knight was gone, and Kevin Owens and McIntyre came to blows, leaving the prize fighter of Monday Night Raw as the last man standing. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens. There could only be one winner here at T-Mobile Arena, and Kevin Owens has punched his ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania! It has been one hell of a night here at T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the Royal Rumble. The road to WrestleMania has officially begun, and one of the men in the main event of the grandest stage will be the prize fighter, Kevin Owens! Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rider.